kicking like one, dolomite. Two. Three, Last four, one got copyright. I'm kicking like dolomite. Five, just to be sure. Hey, hey one time, Last you ready? One copyright. Yeah. Last one got oh. copyright. Hey. You know what time it is. Every time I rhyme, it's just a sign that I'm about to kill. Yeah, it's time for weapon wheel. We got the skill, we got the games. Don't make me grab it still. I put a hole in one like Abby did to Joe. Yeah, for him. But when it comes to aiming, I don't miss like Master Chief. I'll grab the piece and give your ass to Halo just for talking sweet. When it comes to gaming, yeah, you know our team's elite. Check the leaderboards, run the game. You should pick up your feet. You can't lose them too smooth. Just going to admit defeat. And ain't no captain around here. Cause like Bond, I keep receipts. The most dangerous, better than these other guys. Try to come for us, what's life between your eyes like Jen Sakai? That's no lie, no prank. I grab the ratchet, no clank, and get my jiggy mask to show you how Jack Move got his name. Yeah. Weapon wheel podcast. Look, look, look. King of the castle like Cooper, captain of the ship. My name ain't Blandry, but don't make me have to hit the switch. We'll dump you overboard, then watch the views. I ain't talking Twitch. Hey, yo, Alex, go ahead. Talk to him real quick. Say yo, still putting wheels on the pavement. My game so tight, it's like Jordan one lazy. We stay in these gaming streets, ain't no way to be dormant. Hey, a Drake will leave your body uncharted like Lost Fortune. Coco Long Scene was cute, hey, and yeah, it served its purpose. But I'm trying to give a detailed description of what a hearse is. I say we flip the switch on these again before we get bland. I see a lot of pods jacking the format like that, but damn. You hitting the dislike button? You still a fan? Talk slick in the comments and like Dutch, I got a plan. We don't do the sneak this and that's that stuff that gets you banned. Last time we told your favorite squad up, you turned telling got it. It's like I play with the sliders up. Get it. You just got 30 to get turn me the time is up. Since 2015, we've been kicking game knowledge up. Dust your boots and join the crew if you wild enough. Hey. Hey. Developers, Dust developers, developers. Hey. 40 clips, kicking like dolomite. Hey, 40 clips. Aimed at your fit beam, shoddy, so much ammo, it don't make sense. Trying to compete is a sacrifice, die again in your afterlife. I'm taking a road trip, we need to be right. We want to fight. guns and body counts, that's all that I tend to like. Any other podcast, a copy, it look alike. Hey, hey, and what they say? What they say, huh? Hey, hey, what I say? Hey, I put them in the dirt. Toss to get hurt, no face, no case. Smash up like a jiggy merch shirt. Sliding in that vent, I won't get back. Time to pay that debt. Weapon Wonder what weapon well we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well they watch our move, they copy me still. What weapon well we keeping it true, don't care about your feels. What weapon well they watch our move, they copy me still. Weapon well, weapon well, watch I show you my weapon well. Weapon well, weapon well, watch I show you my weapon well. What weapon well we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What Weapon well, they watch our move, they copy and steal. BG, Black Bond, Jack Move, Kiss Move, Blandrew, Alex Two. Damn man, that's a heavy crew. Other pies, they don't know what to do. They watch and they copy our every move. And they still fly like the Wii U. Jack Move voice, we saying, you hop off the roof. Long range, no scope, yeah, I'ma shoot. Cause they wanna play games, no David Blaine, but I'll make a nigga go poof. Oh, this not a game. Gang talk, they what you know about the slang. Hop out the range. All black masters will step out your lane. Every week it's us on the screen. Every week and we entertain. It's not a thing that gets in between. Me and my team, me and my gang. When I'm on the beat, you already know. Straight to the top, yeah, we about to blow. BG, my dog, he told me, let's go. Sit back, relax, it's time for the show. What weapon well, we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well, they watch our move, they copy and steal. What weapon well, we keeping it true, don't care about your feels. What weapon well, they watch our move, they copy and steal. Weapon well, you weapon well. Watch I show you my weapon well. Weapon well, weapon well. Watch I show you my weapon well. What weapon well? We keeping it true. We keeping it real. What weapon well? They watch our move. They copy and stay. We got the guns on deck, no foul call, but you know I came with a tag. Yeah. Since 2015, been stepping on the scene, putting foots on next. Yeah. Set them up, super soaker, pump action, wet them up, shooting out the. Yeah, we catching up. We got the games, y'all all bark. Drive by midnight. Hit the like show, what you say you feel?
weapon well. We keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well? They watch our moves, they copy and steal. What weapon well? We keeping it true, don't care about your feels. What weapon well? They watch our moves, they copy and steal. Weapon well, weapon well. Watch out, show you my weapon well. Weapon well, weapon well. Watch out, show you my weapon well. What weapon well? We keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well? They watch our moves, they copy and steal. Yo, mic check, mic check. <clears throat> oh, oh hell no! Nah. Crazy, bro. <laughs> Whoa, for real? Hell yeah! Yeah, nigga. Whoa. You sound like you in a fish tank. When, when I actually say that. I like you in there. Stay in there. Don't move. Stay right there, PG. I think your mic was coming from your webcam or something like that. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> uh, y'all can hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, we can you now. I'm good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, That was a, I don't know. I updated OBS, which is always a mistake. That's probably it. Um, Yeah. Shout out to OBS. <clears throat> hey, man, I missed y'all last week. And uh, I miss y'all, man. Y'all miss me? Y'all miss the pod? Aw, uh, VG. <laughs> Give us a hug. Give us a group hug right now. Oh, Let's go. Man. Let's get it out. Let's get out the way. We trying to hug and Jack on his phone. Jack don't care about our emotions. Look what at up? him. Look at him. Are we are we gonna get a positive guy today? Like what, what what's your what's what side of the bed you, you woke up on? Um, man, hey, hey, hey. No diddy, how you want me? How you want me? <laughs> no diddy. That's a flagrant question. I'm I'm just let it be known, man. How you want I'm, me? You I'm, want I'm, you want be upbeat, bro. Oh, you want me to be positive, happy, Jack? No, oh, I, I, I want Jack, you to be. I want you boys? to. Can, can you no, be I, truthful, I love that, Jack? Can you be truthful today? I'm truthful at all times, brother. I just said, do you want always right, positive, man. Jack? Move, or do you want? Do you want what's really going on, Jack? Move? Which one bro, you want? I want? I want what's really going on, bro. <laughs> oh, hey, BG said it, not me. <laughs> hey, man. Um, all right. So, a few, few, few couple, a couple of things. So, uh, first of all, shout out to all the everybody viewing right now. Um, I want to give a thank you to all the people who are very appreciative of Weapon Wheel, Weapon Wheel podcast and those who have supported us for 400 episodes. Um, so, first of all, thank, you know, big thanks to y'all. But there were a lot of people last week when we made it to 400 episodes that somehow, somehow found a reason to complain and whine and moan, right? So shout out to all the self-aware people. I saw a comment that said, hey, thank all of you for 400 episodes of free entertainment. That's a person who is very self-aware. Free entertainment. And he understood like what that really meant. I know a lot of y'all watch this and y'all think it's, it's just as easy as, oh, dudes get on a mic and they just talk for two hours. Oh, it's easy. It's, I, I know a lot of you think that. But it's more than that. And a lot and a lot of y'all in that comment section last week were being very negative. And somehow after 400 episodes of free entertainment, you found a reason to complain instead of being thankful, which to me is kind of insane. Because the fact is, a lot of y'all complaining have never have, y'all got a lot of demands. <laughs> y'all got a lot of expectations. And it'd be the ones that can't even hit the like button that want to that want to complain. And I recognize the ones that are, you know, that are, you know, grateful and thankful for Weapon Will Podcast. But some of y'all, 
y'all are nuts to be complaining about something that's essentially free entertainment. So I just wanted to address that. I was disappointed with some of the some of the comments section. Like I said, it's it's the it's the loud minority, but that's why I want to thank the people who support us first, and then the the complainers. I still had had to address y'all because that was crazy. After 400 episodes, you want to find a reason to complain after everything, the time and energy that people on this podcast sacrifice on Sunday after Sunday. That's that's nuts to do. That's nuts, right? I felt like y'all, I felt like they disrespected my panel, disrespected the members and everything they sacrificed. I ain't like that. I don't like that. So I had to Real deal blood, sweat, tears, sweat over the shit, nigga. I ain't like that. Took that so. shit to heart, bro. Um, but we passed that. 401. And uh gaming has been I've been I've been okay because I've been playing Final Fantasy 7 for two like it feels like two months and I haven't even beat it yet. Um I have like 150 hours in it or something crazy already. Uh so I'm satisfied because I've been playing that one game, but gaming overall from the it feels like everybody else feels like it's kind of dry. It's kind of like unexciting. Here go BG complaining again. What's wrong with I'm you? I'm talking man? about what <laughs> other so people on. The sentiment oh, I'm getting from other people. People don't see. How you see, feel? How you feel? Why I'm you good. Right now, you I'm playing negative Nancy right now. Is I'm playing Nancy? Hell Divers and Final Fantasy VII. If I didn't have those two games, then maybe I might feel it. But I'm busy with those two games. So, I, but how do you feel, Jack? I don't. I don't know what you've been playing. I don't. I don't. I don't. Know. I, don't I don't. I don't have no feelings. I'm good. I mean, you know, I'm existing. You know, if it's cool, it's cool. If it ain't, it ain't. I don't that, even yeah. give a fuck for it. I don't care anymore. That's that, how that it means, works. That means it sucks for him. You. You, you think I, gaming it, sucks? Right <laughs> I mean, I haven't been. I've really, really been gaming. I. Ain't, I got other things okay. to do. I don't really. Uh, I feel you. I'm cool. um, I feel you. Smooth. How, do, how? Just overall, how does gaming feel to you right now? The gaming landscape. Uh, the gaming landscape is uh fairly dry in my opinion mm. um I, I it's i know a lot of people like again we're at a time where um if you release something average in this current landscape is going to be overrated because people are prisoners of the moment um so i think we we're in the flux of a bunch of average games um and i'm looking forward to the second half of uh, the year to see what else uh, comes out, but like, yeah, I haven't been high on anything uh, so far. Mm. Uh, Slow mo, thanks for joining us. Uh, what's your what's Yo, your overall uh, feeling right now? Just gaming in general, you, you feel like it's kind of like just like a little unenthusiastic, and people, you know, as far as the games go, people find other shit to talk about and complain about. But like the games, it you know, aside from a few, you know, Dragon's Dogma, Final Fantasy, but overall, people still feel. That's the sentiment I get. Like, it's kind of dry out here. Yeah, I, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that last year there was a lot of mm -hmm. exciting games that came out. And so when 2024 is trying to follow that up, it's kind of like, I mean, you don't you don't really have the heat that last year had. And so yeah. I, I so far, I mean, I've been having fun this year. I do what I do. I play games. I, I enjoy them. I beat Final Fantasy VII Rebirth a couple of weeks ago. I'm going through Dragon's Dogma 2. I play all my live service games. I'm just doing the same old, same old like I normally do. I don't really see it as any mm -hmm. different. It's just that people aren't as hyped for the games that are currently coming as they were last year. Okay. All right. I just want to get that, do a heat check because that was my overall, you know, feeling from what I've been seeing. Um, but let me introduce the pod. I didn't even do that yet. Weapon World Podcast, episode 401. We're on iTunes and Spotify. I think I saw that Google is shutting down Google Podcasts. Google Play podcast player, whatever. So I don't. I don't even know what the fuck that is. What is that? It's actually, just, I was it's just their audio. I was actually really sad about that. There's yeah. no reason for them to shut that shit down. They sh they shut down their music shit too. I don't know what Google was Did doing. You get but... you get kicked off that though, right? That's a story for another day. Okay, well, there you go. Um, from what I saw, they're merging it into YouTube Music. So it's like, cause like, cause I have the Google podcast app and oh, then like they okay. keep it. Hey, Hey, warning, this is about to go away. And I'm like, all right, I got it. I got it. But it's like, they're saying all your subscriptions or whatever you actually uh, subscribe to for just audio podcasts will be available in YouTube. I don't like the implementation of it. I kind of feel it's kind of janky cause I looked in there and it's just like, it ain't as organized as it is in Google podcasts, but 
I don't know. Maybe they'll fix it. Because I don't know if I have to do anything or if it just automatically transfers over and people could continue. Hey, Alex, you got, you got. You, Alex, we can, you hear your, there, bro? we can hear your. We can hear your. Oh shit! You can hear my throat. Oh yes. Yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, it sounded. It sounded real moist. It, <laughs> hey, my bad. Hey, my ain't, bad. This ain't nigga no talking. Cup, my, you got to stop pulling on that straw. It ain't no more in that cup, brother. You got to let that go. <laughs> I learned from one time. I learned from the best. My bad. <laughs> Let's let that go, man. All right. Crazy. Okay, yeah, well, I'll figure out if I need to do anything. But either way, iTunes, Spotify, all those platforms y'all listen to. If you want to support the podcast, patreon.com slash weapon wheel podcast. Uh, link is in the description. If you want to become a channel member, just hit the join button. Also, you know, just hit the like button to support the podcast. Uh, some of the Patreon perks, After Dark, uh, early access to Planet Xbox episodes, access to Weapon Wheel Discord. You can, can, you can submit trivia questions and gaming questions. We'll answer that live. And uh, if you want to submit some video game, uh, if you want to submit some gameplay uh, for the podcast, link is in the description for that. You just drag and drop. Send me some gameplay. I, I'm I'm running low. I, I need some. I need I need I need. Have you been playing games out here in 2024? What's going on? You know what's I, crazy, Jack? I have. I sent B I sent BG some Foam Stars gameplay, and he said LOL and didn't use it. <laughs> Delete that shit. Right? Delete that shit. Right? Yeah. He did the same true. thing to me. I That's definitely crazy. used it. I ain't use yours. <laughs> Deleted that shit right on. No, I, I, he literally dabbed me up and said, "Good looks, bro." I was like, "What the fuck?" I, <laughs> Didn't even I remember it. using all the this. What's it? What, what's it called? Foam, foam. Where? Foam, bro. Okay. Look at look at you. That's disrespectful. Ain't really in yeah, season like, three. You know what the game is? Season it's in season, season three. That what I that what I seen. Uh, Bar and them was saying. Season yeah, because the new three. character, uh, Glowy, the one that does Alex. You never read the character that looks like from the gallery. Oh, what's up, Jazz? Yeah, 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 what they doing a yeah. season a month? How they already on season three? Um, no, it's just like batches of like content for like the season. Uh, yeah, y'all you know, know what? Y'all really, y'all really should be supporting that fucking game. They had a no, creators event not, for only for black this. people. Let's they did it for black this. people. Oh, this is the game. This is one of them. Okay, this is the game that they want black people to play. Okay, so when something starts Next failing, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, D when it starts <laughs> failing, <laughs> okay, okay, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. let's I'm get let's the fuck down. I'm holding let's, the fuck down. Let's, over let's there. get the blacks to Save support us, it because uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, my <laughs> people are left behind defensive. Don't nobody else like it. This nigga's a piss dude. Just told us save us. Give give the minorities major access. Yeah, okay. Maybe some black people are like this shit. Don't yeah. nobody else fuck. Nah, we, okay. we good Damn. on that, Chief. We good. We good. We good. Damn. Yeah. Next topic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nigga um, shitted on my own stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. They did that to us, man. Damn. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to introduce everybody today because... Uh, I, don't, I really don't want to hear y'all intros, and I'm trying to. And the fact that we starting late, I'm gonna just introduce everybody. That's that's Jack, uh, the round freak. That's Smooth, the best bot. Damn. That's Alex. He has a million different monikers. I don't know what he is today. Um, I'm Jack Moose, bitch. As a as a uh, according to last night, oh, huh? Okay. Yeah, nigga went crazy in the Discord last night. If you know, you know. <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I don't know nothing about all that, man. That sounds crazy though. That's Jazzy, the number one Nintendo fan, and. uh that is slow mo backslap, or as uh, <laughs> what did what's the name call him? <laughs> persona <laughs> Spider Man slow mo backslap. Yo, <laughs> yo, persona. Was <laughs> that was crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah, what is what, what did persona call him again? Some, oh, slow mo backslap, didn't he? Yeah, yeah it was Back. like slow mo butt clap or something. He said the shot, uh, which was like extra <laughs> embarrassing. He was like, like super chat from slow mo butt clap. I was like, God dang, this this is this hey, is man, I, who knows me now. I was looking for a look after he said that shit. I said, I ain't know all that was going on. Shit, that's crazy. <laughs> he set you up, bro. A bunch of the old name. It's all, all right. good. It's all good. It's on. It's on. It's brand. on. Yeah. Um, so I got a quick question for you. Hypothetical situation. Yep. Uh, you're you're not, of course, you're not a fan of all the you know the game Xbox games going over to you know PlayStation. We know it's only four games right now. Yep. Um, let's say Microsoft. Let's say Phil Spencer said, "Hey, if Hellblade Two sells a certain amount of copies, <laughs> why are you laughing, Jack?" I <laughs> I didn't even say the question yet. If if Hellblade 2 sells a certain amount of copies, right, or any of these games that are um, that future games that are coming out that are not announced, let's say if if those sell a certain amount of let's say Hellblade, uh, if it sells six million Mm -hmm. on 
Yeah, Xbox and, and I, I guess PC in a certain amount of time frame. And he said, okay, that will stop us from putting future games on PlayStation. <laughs> or at least the, 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 the future <laughs> versions of those games. Would you buy it instead to, to help that cause instead of getting it on Game Pass? No. Okay. Mm. <laughs> no. Because okay. I, yeah, I, I, think about this, right? This is going to sound, I, I hate getting deep on y'all. Uh, Pause. Oh. I'm, I'm here like <laughs> no diddy no diddy for no diddy. a good time not a long okay. time i'm not here infinite I, I can't i don't live forever so like it doesn't at the, when when you think about it, at the end of the day yeah no i'm not going to give up my i'm not going to sabotage my economics so that somebody else can't play the game on their platform on a platform i also own i just won't play it on playstation i played on xbox like i i get it yeah it's like all that does is like save me an argument, but I already stopped engaging those arguments. So okay. whatever they want to do with that, like, yeah, no, nah, there's nothing. If they say, oh, we sold, we sell 5 million, 10 million, stuff like that. We won't do it. I was like, nah, yeah, I'll still buy on Game Pass. Now, if you take it off Game Pass and I have no choice but to buy it, that's another thing. You know, I mean, I'll buy the mm. games, but uh, as long as I have Game Pass, I'm not going to sabotage myself unless they had an expiration date. Now, if you told me, they told me like, hey, uh, you know, we're still launching games day and day in Game Pass, but you know, they have an expiration date of like you know, ninety days or something like that, or they go, they have to go in like sixty days or ninety days, like you know, after lunch. That's one thing. Then I'll I'll probably buy it inst instead of waiting. I'll probably I, I will more than likely buy it. But nah, I wouldn't do that mm -hmm. trade off just so that PlayStation can't get those games. It just doesn't make sense to me economically. So okay there's it's, it's no way in here the game selling six million you remember mm -hmm. they matter of fact they did something with that game they said they was gonna send money to what was it the paranoid niggas of america society <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yes it was <laughs> it was a mental health know. society or something yeah, yeah, yeah I, I ain't know the name my bad my apologies yeah, it, niggas still didn't buy the game so <laughs> listen ain't not gonna make nobody buy that game man and, and that's on all platforms by the way like that was on playstation yeah. and xbox yeah, yeah man it ain't yeah. sell like that. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think facts. six million is a is a pipe dream. That's not that's happening. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm just I'm just curious as if there's like a trade off, you know, that Xbox fans, in nah, you know, that they would be there's, interested there's, in. No, Microsoft is is too greedy, and there's like you know, you no, know, your Xbox fans are probably like, yeah, yeah, I'll buy it, I'll sacrifice game just so I can win an argument with some PlayStation fanboys. Um, but at the end of the day, Microsoft has recognized right that regardless they win the console war lose the console war they, they can't they would never exceed a certain limit they can only sell the most of 200 and, uh, 250 possible million users console wise once they realize they will never exceed like break out of that console uh user base which uh, uh which is a user platform that's never growing it's just that every generation either nintendo or playstation gets a bigger piece of that same pie um and so that's why they're kind of like kind of with the shit they're like they're like, they don't really care anymore and they're trying to get out um or go beyond that um that number i just don't we're in a climate where you know unfortunately our kids and our kids kids is going to kill it for us because they don't consume games the way we can uh consume games the way we like video games is not what like today's people are where they pick up a freaking whatever they play i don't even know what people are playing on iphones and androids um that doesn't translate to console console games would never translate that way for them to try to reach that magnitude uh on mobile and stuff like that it's just that unfortunately console gaming or the way we know gaming today is probably just gonna die with us so okay. oh, it's unfortunate <laughs> um all right since i brought up uh hellblade 2 uh so there was oh, like a media um you know they had some media previews for it and uh some details uh unreal engine 5 visual benchmark one of the best looking games ever um fully mocap fighting system combat is one-on-one -on -one only slow paced and very brutal the original was like that i don't remember ever fighting multiple at one right jack like they they would be multiple no. but they would like dip and dodge out of the yeah yeah they would switch in and out um so it's still one-on-one -on -one you, you, you would have somebody it. like attack you from behind every now and then but like yeah it was still more than one people like on screen but yeah, yeah. it was basically shallow one-on-one -on -one combat right 
a true next gen experience. Um, I'm just reading what people said. Uh, 30 FPS. That was the big talking point this week. Uh, you know their audio. Their uh, by Neural Audio. That's a, that was a big deal in the first game. Coming out May 21st. Uh, what else is there? The parry window appears to be less forgiving in this game. Um, increased enemy types and attack animations. <clears throat> P- puzzles are uh, largely familiar. Familiar. Find runic shapes in the environment. So apparently they kept those. Those are the puzzles that everybody kind of hated, but maybe they improved them. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, the biggest deal is obviously the 30 FPS, which the uh, VFX director at the studio said he leaned on 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 uh, good old reliable, which was we did this for cinematic purposes. Yeah, I um, mean, two thoughts? things could be true. Uh, um, I'm gonna say this is that yeah the. People don't appreciate. I, somebody said this like I, I would have rather them said like they're pushing the Xbox consoles to its limit, and I would I think I would have respected that too because the game looks damn good um, for what it is. Uh, the c- reason why I say two things could be true because they are going for the cinematic look. Doesn't the game got black bars like like uh, like like how the order had it? Like it's like a, like a wide screen is what you said. Yeah, yeah. So you got that the the cameras you know ultra like zoomed in the. The thing about this issue, though, is that it, it, it sucks because Xbox, you know, most powerful console, so they say, and when it comes to them finally producing <laughs> next-gen games, they're the only ones that literally drop release games at 30 FPS with no graphic option, and that's, like, kind of, like, I don't understand how you do that. Now, I do blame us being less forgiving of that, all on Redfall. So <laughs> if Redfall was to like, because Redfall had no business being 30 FPS, so it's ruined the forgiveness for Starfield where the excuse would be, oh, this all CPU intensive potatoes and all that other stuff, right? If it, it ruined us being able to forgive that and it's ruining, ruining us to forgive Hellblade being graph, the, graphically the most intensive, uh, best looking UE5 to date is um regardless of what they're doing um but xbox i do see signs that they're getting smart and when i say they get smart is we're getting good news get delivering bad news in form of good news like how playstation used to do it remember you used to get some playstation news mm-hmm. but it, there was always a sprinkle of bad news but the good news kind of overshadowed it i'm not sure if the good if hellblade's overshadowing it yet but i know hellblade's getting a lot of positive press people like yo this feels next gen this is like a gaudy contender oh this is like a sony game and all this other stuff but they the 30 fps you know thing came out out of that and then the the lead developer being gone <laughs> came out. Imagine if that information came out isolated by itself and not a part of the reveal. It would it would be tragic online. Mm. But because it was delivered in this package, it's like okay, you know. But we got something tangible to point at whether the 30 FPS. But on the other hand, is the best looking game. So you got people damage controller and whatnot. Um, all I gotta say is is like I. I'm not going to defend the action of not having a choice. I feel like you should always have the choice, but. I'm assuming a game looking like that with the performance option, which it should be there, I don't think with the performance option, it would look good when you consider some of the games we've been getting lately. I have I was a big uh, advocate for the game Immortals of Avenum. I, I bought that. It was $8 on, on Game Pass and whatnot. Uh, played that in performance mode. I thought the game like looked good, but when I played it in performance mode, I'm like, sheesh, and it's a UE5 game, it, it, but it, it looks rough. We all see what happened with Final Fantasy VII. It looks rough in this performance mode. And I don't care what BG says, and Stellar Blade's a UE4 game, in this <laughs> performance mode, it looks rough, in my opinion. But that's no excuse. It should be there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how it plays on my PC if I truly feel the 60 FPS experience for Hellblade 2 is required. If not, okay. then um, I'll, I'll do it on Xbox. Uh, okay. Uh, slow mode. Thoughts on the 30 FPS or any of the other details? Yeah, see, I, the one thing I, I can say I can agree with Smooth about is that there should be a choice. 
because everyone has their own preferences and how they play games. Like I know Jack likes playing games in 30 FPS. He wants the the better visual fidelity. There's gonna be gamers that's like that. There's gonna be gamers that want the 60 FPS, the higher frame rates, no matter what, no matter how the game turns out looking visually, they just wanna make sure that they're they're getting that 60 FPS. Like when I played Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I didn't think either mode was good the mm-hmm. quality mode or the performance mode but i stayed the performance mode because it stayed the 60 frames per second the entire time was it blurry yeah but i yeah hey, this is what you kind of deal with when you're dealing with consoles that said um <laughs> ninja theory is a bit better with unreal engine than say uh the developer i forgot their name it was like their first game they did in morals avium they oh, yeah, i don't even yeah. know if they even I don't even know if they're going to be making another game again. They did massive layoffs right after that. EA didn't seem to believe in it. They gave me a copy. It was just like, hey, it, psh, here. I mean, look, before the game came out, I was like, damn, I don't, you don't even want me to buy it or you don't want me to stream it, you know, as compensation? No, here's a game. We don't give a shit. Is is what is what they were pretty much the kind of energy they were on. So it's like, really, I think the developer and their their how familiar they are with the game engine also plays a part in it. Ninja Theory did a great job with the first one. I think they could do a decent job with a performance boat, but these are decisions that you have to make at the very beginning of development. And they clearly didn't prioritize that. And Xbox leadership clearly wasn't like the only leadership where they say, well, you have to do a performance mode no matter what. And I mean, if, if, if you're a console gamer, and, or an Xbox gamer in particular, you really got to start making some decisions here. The last three out of four games that came out on Xbox d- did launch with no performance mode, launched just at 30 frames per second. You're probably going to see more of that in the future. What do you want to do? Because if you got a problem with that, you should probably go get yourself or build yourself a PC. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's like I said in my video, like it, the worst part of it was the reasoning he used. Like, bro, that 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 you could get away with that excuse. And some people might actually believe it during la- last generation. The whole cinematic thing doesn't fly anymore. That doesn't work. Bro. That's, that's the old lie. You got to get you got to update the new lie, bro. That one is that right. one is outdated. Yeah. Like <laughs> you can't say that, bro, because if that's really the case, then lock the PC version to 30. If it's if that's the intended, you know, optimal way that you believe your game plays best, lock the PC version. Because why are you, you know, why why are you giving PC people the ability to play the game the unintended way? Then you know, it, so that 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 doesn't fly, bro. You can't you can't use that one. What's the real right, reason? Right. Uh, I don't know. We can always, you know, create theories. You know, we've been doing it with with Starfield and Redfall. Like I'm I'm. I'm done theorizing. It is what it is. Uh, all of these, I just assume all of these Xbox games moving forward going to be 30 FPS. And um, aside from, I, I guess we, we can get into, aside from certain games, like, you know, there's rumors of a, a Gear 6. That's going to be 60. They would never launch that at 30. Or that would be insane. Um, so something like that, I guess, yeah, absolutely. I, I guess the story-based stuff, they could probably just, they're yeah. probably just going to do story and, any multiplayer they create, that's that's 60. So Yeah. I mean, like Gears 4, I believe the campaign was at 30 when it launched with a oh, yeah. later patch that made it 60, but the multiplayer was at 60 from the very start. Like I I wouldn't put it past them to do that with Gear 6. And and but yeah, I agree. Like maybe Fable's probably going to be 30. Um just mm. a lot of their other games that if it's gonna be like a real true next gen game, not a last gen game in design, but it's on next gen hardware. So they got a little bit of overhead to work with. If it's an actual true next gen game, really utilizing the CPU, you're probably going to be stuck at 30 frames per second for for those Xbox games. Bro, you, you, it, it, that that's scary to think about. Um, but you said it is true. Like in a majority of Xbox studios ab- uh, adopted UE5. And if these right. games are going to be in those scopes using uh, using uh, UE5 like that, then 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 yeah, we looking at t- chances are it's going to be 30 um, FPS for a lot of those games. Um, 
The like fable, I believe though, is on Forza Tech, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and they, yeah, they've been proven they can run an engine at like you know 60 FPS in open world by uh, Forza Horizon 5 standards. If we're going by that, um, but this is also their first time stepping outside of racing so maybe 30 fps playing it safe and stuff like that don't even want to yeah. think about it um go ahead bg my bad no i was gonna say bro you know you know what kind of sucks like criticizing xbox doesn't really have anything so you know there's no substance to it anymore because it's like we know they're not trying it, it's it so there's no like ex there's no interesting part about criticizing Xbox anymore since they've took this position where they're they're not competing, they're they're not trying. Sure, they're <clears throat> they're trying to make I guess the the fan base that their fan base that doesn't have super high demands of them. They're trying to satisfy them, but the just the masses trying to appeal to the masses and actually trying to you know fight back and, and get some of the market. It it feels feels so boring and lame it's it's like you know like when like it's like some a, a, a corner trying to cover justin jefferson justin jefferson or something when he gets cooked it's funny because he's trying his heart out but if, if when you know somebody not trying and they failing like yeah they're they've they've been it's given boring. up right? yeah it's boring they've been yeah. given up there's nothing so anytime there's news about xbox hey xbox is doing some bullshit like well okay <laughs> like i I don't care anymore, like, because they don't care. This is whack. I need Xbox. Nah, nah. I need Xbox to turn back, bro. This is whack. Every, like, things have been lame since they announced, hey, we done with that. We can't fight. We can't fight back. We just going to, like, fade into the darkness. We, we, we concede. It's whack, bro. I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's exactly it. it is. The, the moral is dead. Maybe they're going to, like, you know, obviously... Uh, the fan the fan base has to like sort of like I I don't want to use the word but whatever I'm for lack of better terms kind of die out that the toxicity amongst the fan base has to die out and then with that maybe the uh, uh, antagonizers on the pleasure side the toxicity on their end would just die out and then then maybe they can resurface with something and like maybe they're just trying to go with a global restart <laughs> on a community I don't know but it, it, it is the more the morale is down um and the confidence is uh, is gone and it comes at such a horrible time when you think they got their ducks in a row. You just acquired Activision Blizzard. You kind of got a nice control of the market from a publishing standpoint. You would think you want to like beef up, get your, you know, your Thanos gloves on for at least a year or two before you start saying, yeah, well, maybe we want to feed the streets. Like they should have gave them that opportunity to do that to see what they really got and if then if and if that fell then hell you're a failure that it is what it is you can't you can't do nothing right i would have accepted that but my thing is you can't take the l before you gave yourself an opportunity at least the opportunity to challenge them they had a real opportunity to challenge it now no one is hype for when they announce a game because the thing is like oh, going to PlayStation. That that's what it is. Like, but if you knew and had confidence that it was an Xbox exclusive, the hype is tenfold. But nobody, we're gonna go all go and watch the showcase. They're gonna have one of their best showcases. I guarantee you this will be one of their best showcases in a long time. But the excitement won't be there because all those games are destined for PlayStation and belong Nintendo. to the streets. They and, yep. and that's the problem, and that's that's really the problem. It sucks because they literally could have could have gave themselves a year or two before they before they really did all that. It wasn't it? But, you, you, yeah. you know, you think about it. They started their acquisition spree back in 2018, right? Like, remember that E3 where they acquired like five studios? They had yeah. the announcements, and then like later that year, they acquired Obsidian and Exile. So it was like seven studios in one year. Some of those studios have not released a game on Xbox that was just developed fully through Xbox yet. And they're already like, yep, we're gonna put them all everywhere. And we're gonna make sure the PlayStation versions run better. It's just like, <laughs> what is that? Like, well, you got they said that was a bug, right? <laughs> they oh, said that was a bug, bug. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like like with Pentiment, Pentiment, yeah. 120 frames on PlayStation, 60 on Xbox. What's well, so the this this year this game this bug? I mean, sorry, this game came out like a year ago or so. So was this bug been been like a year long bug or something that you just didn't realize? Like that doesn't make any sense. The excuses are are whack, man. You just like better shadows for Hi-Fi Rush, I think. Um, I mean, Sea of Thieves is probably going to perform better over there too. Just keep it a yeah. bug. It's just. 
Yeah. They, it's, we, it's we see who they prioritize. They, they can't mess that up. It, it already has all the bells and whistles on Xbox. I highly doubt they do that. It's already running at 120 FPS, 60 FPS on um, Xbox, 120 FPS on Xbox. The most, unless people just start, like, you know, over jerking the dull sense features, because I know they're going to see that. I can the feel what? the waves. The over, oh, over. <laughs> what, oh, wait, what? What they? What they don't want the features? I said over jerking the dull sense features, where you, you know mm-hmm. they waves just smacking up against their palms or something like the that. The baby that dials and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it, it, that's. I mean, me I don't. Know. I think CFDs is safe. It's just that CFDs, unfortunately, is going to be the thing that actually kills any future Xbox exclusive because that's going to be the yeah. only Xbox game that uh, sells because all the other ones flopped hard. Yeah. Let me uh read some super chats. Um, Woden's Throne. These consoles can't handle UE5. Robocop might be the one exception. Hellblade 2 runs in Letterbox at 30 FPS. Letter- Letterbox is used in games to get better performance. Some Switch ports do this. Yeah, because the resolution uh, you have to render is smaller. Um, that's true. Uh, the Blint, uh, Brandalorian. Gaming Pet Peeves, Volume 2. Weapon Wheel... Weapon wheels. Oh, weapons not reloading unless you sit still for every frame of a long reload animation. Oh yeah, it cancel if you move it cancels mm. out the reload animation. There's a there's not a lot more. of games. There's not a lot of games that do that anymore, but there are some. Let me add one on that. Uh, not being able to reload while you're running. That shit is. I mean, annoying. that's pretty much what he's saying. Sure. Nah, nah. He talking about I've played games where if you even move, not even run it, you just yeah. move, it cancels it out. It, so, yeah. Some of them have that as an unlockable. In the in your skill tree, you got you got to yep. yeah. yeah that's yep. I think kind of whack. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the Brandalorian also goat weapon wheel moments volume one. When kids move, told name redacted. You're not a gamer. You're a bully who found gaming. <laughs> Wait, what? That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. That. I like that. I like that. that. You Repeat said that. you told someone you're not a gamer. You're a bully who found gaming. That's, that's smooth. Smooth. That's smooth. Smooth. What? That's what? Like circa 2020, 2019, maybe. Nigga, what after school program did you steal that shit from? <laughs> there ain't no way you came up with that. That was a nice quote. Jeff D, congrats on the house. Oh, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to put up a, um, a tour, like probably after the podcast. Uh, Darius P- uh, Pendleton, you just donated. No super chat. Thank you. Mook Gaming, congrats on the new house, brother. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Force DEI guy, Hellblade Metacritic prediction. 88? I'm going to say 82. Oh, that's low. Um, that's, that's lower than a... Uh, for, I'm going I'm to go what they, they're, they're going to... Because it has potential to come into a PlayStation, it's getting a 91. <laughs> mm. well, Damn. What was the first game's Metacritic? Does anyone remember? Let me I see. think it was 87. It was mid-80s, I think. Uh... It's getting, it's getting, well, it's getting 87. Yep. First, uh, I'll, I'll go with, wow. I'll go with 87. It's got an 81. Go 87. No, 81. The P, the PC version, which doesn't have as many reviewers, oh, is 87. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna say 82. 82. No, it's not 85. gonna be. Well, well, you know, things are different. Standards do change, and I don't know if they took so long with this game. I feel like I mean, the standards we, have surpassed them. Also, we've well, seen games come out sequels that are yeah. better than the first game, and they get the same or worse yeah. score on Metacritic. So. I'm I'm gonna go down to an 86. Go down to 86. Yeah. Okay. Um. Bless red. Naughty dog. Next game at 30 FPS only. Yes or yes. I think it would have a. Uh, I think it would have a still have a performance mode. I I feel like that's it's a it's almost like a PlayStation mandate, almost like an unwritten yeah. rule that they tell the develop, developers you have to have a performance mode. Is there any I don't think there's any game on PS5 that, and I know that, you know, you can argue because they're not that demanding um, and there's not a huge jump. I know you, some people argue that, but I, yeah, I don't, not that there's not a game I could think of that doesn't have a performance uh, mode. First party PlayStation. games? Yeah. I think they all have a performance mode. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is that so like I, an accessibility thing or no? Move, you fucking that up, whatever you eating, brother. What is that? You murdering that shit. It's a yeah, Louisiana damn. chicken wing, man. <laughs> Okay, well, enjoy yourself. I don't even know what the fuck you said. It's something about chicken wing. Go ahead, brother. Um, you made up a new state. It's a yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought you said a little boosty, and I'm like a mixtape. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me uh, go to some Weapon Wheel question crew questions. 
Um, Earl Walker, any more Helldivers 2 streams? They add more weapon skins, stratagems, and new enemies when you uh, guys play games together. Uh, they are fire. I watched them over 10 times each. Yeah, well, we can get to one of those eventually on one of these uh, dry weeks. Um, I You watched the, watch the Helldivers 2 stream over 10 times. Hey, we funny. Hey, we, we funny. Right. Right. You gotta Man. be a certified. Let, 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 let's, <laughs> ship, let's ship in and get this nigga a Hulu subscription. Uh, Go peacock. Why are you hey, telling him got, that? <laughs> we got the, what the, I don't even watch my whole once back. What the, that was, 10 times, my nigga. Do you have cable, my nigga? It, like, it was quality <laughs> entertainment. Nigga, it ain't that entertaining. I'm, I'm here to tell you. I, no. It is. Don't don't it's tell him not. that. <laughs> it's literally not. What he the got fuck this, is it doing? He, he got to see you th struggle and throw a, a respawn at, at your feet instead of throwing oh, yeah. it 50 yards in front. Yeah, that the was time, funny. The time, we, the time yeah. we survived and beat the mission. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Threw me no thanks to you. I spawned. When I spawned, I instantly died. I remember that. Hey, 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 Great hey, slow mo. Let me let me thing. ask you let me ask you a question that a fifth grader could could answer. Right? If you re oh, if you call man. in call in a respawn for somebody, would you would you throw the stratagem and and there's a horde of enemies behind you? Would you throw the stratagem at your feet or as far as possible in front of you? I'm what would you do? Far. I'm not throwing it far. I, I mean, I'm a, I'm gonna throw it far away, but like I, I didn't see what happens. You know, so I, you know I why I'm not gonna, throwing it far. So I'm up, every, every time I get thrown far, as soon as I spawn, I die. If mm -hmm. if Bond spawn right next to me, I already got that area secure because I'm standing right there. <laughs> oh, you the man? There, he not go if, I, if I'm not dead, <laughs> he's not gonna be dead when he get up. And I, 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 that's why I say run as soon as oh, you spawn. Man. But we finna run. <laughs> okay. Easy. Right. If you say yeah, something, my body. But Bond and BG at like like they can like. You know how people don't take in context into consideration where, okay, you're in a highly tense situation and you finally got something to upload that. I'm just trying to make sure they, they, they get revived. Like, yeah, all. that's like, all we trying to do. Yeah, it's like, all right, here it go. It, it <laughs> sounds like the lights were too bright for y'all in the moment and y'all yeah, couldn't handle it. The so, lights was too bright. So, I, I should, I should I trust that y'all can't land and pressure. do what y'all need to do, bro. So I could have been murdered, but instead I revived somebody and got the mission wow. completed, and that's bad. But if I would have just... Okay, pressure bust cool. pipes, man. Y'all couldn't handle it. The lights were too bright. I it's had okay. the highest accuracy every match, did I not? Oh, anyway, continue. And I think I was responsible <laughs> for the most actual like saves, though, too, in terms of like... Escaping. You might have been, but you know they don't appreciate this. We, we already I mean, exposed... Best, best accuracy, you know, it's cool. We already exposed Jack, right? We told y'all... Look, look, chat. This is what we told you. Yeah, this, is what, this, this is Jack's move every multiplayer game. He finds one statistic, makes sure he's the best at that one statistic, and then brags about it. Oh, look, look I'm at it. I was landing my shot, and I had a lot of kills. I was look, landing look, my look shot. Look at my like, accuracy. Shit, in, in Hellblade, in, 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 I mean, Helldivers, it's look at my accuracy. In Last of Us, it was look at my heals. In every other multiplayer no, play game, oh, look at my, look. come on, man. Look, they don't like when you when you do the objective and get shit done. When uh -huh. you when you when you out there meandering around trying to be look at my uh, captures. Big bad, mm, when you trying to be Billy Badass, oh, I got the most kills in objective based game. Oh wow, that's awesome, dude. No, okay. it doesn't fucking matter. Like, what did you get the did you get the mission done, brother? Like, all right. BG uh, would never be on a team sport. You understand me? He'll lose every fucking time. And then if he did lose, he'll like, shit, I got mine, though. That's his gonna be his I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> we lost, nigga. I got 50. Y'all know what the fuck y'all out there doing. I got 40, nigga. It don't this matter is to me. very far from the truth, and I'm not even gonna <laughs> waste time. Y'all sitting eliminated like a motherfucker. I'm not gonna waste time arguing this. I'm a, I'm a great team <laughs> player. James Harden ass nigga, man. You a James Harden ass nigga. I'm a Harden great nigga, team man. player, and everybody uh, knows that. All right. All right. J Jonathan <laughs> Lawrence, if, Mike, if Microsoft releasing uh, Hellblade 2 is a digital only release uh going against their commitment to backwards compatibility and game preservation they did open up a team for game preservation also by the way is it going Microsoft against did yeah oh that's yeah. good that's good that's good yeah um do you i feel like this goes against their commitment to backwards compatibility and preservation no actually it does not only because um right now i mean right now for example, Xbox has uh, every game that I bought in digital from uh, since Xbox 360 um, that's backwards compatible is available to me today. So so far they have a what feels like what almost what twenty year commitment so far and still going. So I trust Microsoft is probably the only company I trust with like a. A, a digital license only because they've been doing it for so long and they keep investing in it. Um, 
I don't understand because the thing is that, oh, by get, getting rid of a physical version, right? So what does that physical version get you? Because from what I checked, isn't the uh, disc, it just has a digital license on it. So if that game was to cease to exist, whatever data is on that disc that needs the internet to pull it will cease to exist too. It's just, you would just have a, a, a brick, uh, a paperweight. So it, it, whether they have physical uh, media or not, you know, I don't think it impacts their backwards compatibility. A lot of these games, a lot of us. So you're saying are that you, their physical would just be be a code? It, it is a uh, physical is whatever it is now. Like it's a it's a disc, but it's not actually truly there. Just to unlock. You say it's like a PC game back in the day. Yeah. It ain't really nothing on the disc. You yeah. Just... Well, I mean, I think uh, Xbox uh, Xbox is the only people that do that disc like that right now, though. So it really wouldn't be any different, like you're saying, smooth. But I don't think Sony and Nintendo are doing their discs like that. I think they actually have the game on there. Yeah. I'm, well, I yeah, mean, I know. I, I know Nintendo for sure because they what they're doing cartridges and stuff like that, and their physical media actually changes with each gen. Um, PlayStation, yeah, I believe their game is still fully on. Yeah, yeah. So, but again, who's been been able to produce the best backwards compatibilities this entire time out of the three? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, That's true. I, 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 you know, I don't care physical, digital, you know, I'm all, I'm all digital, but the complaints mainly come from certain territories where people, uh, still are more physical, um, than, than digital certain territories. I think like, I think they said like Brazil, places like that still prefer, you know, physical media. Um, and you know, the, uh, the, the collectors or the hoarders is, I think they are, they pre- still prefer physical so, um, yeah. All right. Uh, Tony plays games. Is there any game you think could be successful with a gender or race swap? Mm. GTA. As we will see. Yeah. GTA 6, uh, Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> any rock, I mean, yeah, any rock star yeah. game. Nobody's if you, really if you gonna play, yeah, If you played Sadie, they, they would definitely do my Y'all don't, yeah. Yeah, y'all don't, y'all don't, think, any, y'all don't think any sport games? It might be the show no, 24. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, but the thing is, I, the question is not, is it kind of, there's already been successful uh, race swaps, you know what I mean? With the, uh, even thing of, like Mafia, I think Mafia 3 was the best one, yeah. in, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, but a lot of people didn't mafia like that game, you know, smooth because they, you know, they were like, black people were never in the mafia. What the fuck is this trash? You know, they was on that type truck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, like the other one, uh, War Starhawk, the, the sequel to Starhawk, which was uh, it was a Warhawk sequel. It had a black main character, mm-hmm. and I remember people trying to boycott that game because he was black. So we see the outrage. I mean, yeah. then nobody did, fucking buy Starhawk either. So yeah, I mean, they did, did the same thing with Prototype too, right? They went from oh, oh yeah, like, he had a black, black yeah, he had a black man. Is, he, is he asking? Is he asking what game would still be successful, or what would make it successful if it if it switched gender? It would still be successful. What would you know? What well, game yeah, would yeah. Successful? Last of Us Two was successful. Uh, now I'm wondering how Un- okay. Uncharted Five, if they do go to a female led protagonist, I wonder if that'll change people's. No, they uh, will buy it in hordes. They, they no, they because Naughty Dog would actually be the one to the the lead the see, target. See, it doesn't need to be. It need to be a black. No, it need to be an indigenous, tranny, mm-hmm. fucking. Uh, they gotta have legs like Benji. I, I they gotta do this, bro. Like, <laughs> jump, jump all the way out the window. It, That's fucked up. I'm ready for it, bro. Like, god jump, damn. Jump all the way out the window. Okay. We need. Hey, it, bro. I do have a question. Are y'all sick of? Um, are y'all sick of always having the option between male and female character? Or you, or it's not even a thing for you. Come on, will you, will you choose? Yeah, because I'm thinking the games like uh, didn't Sifu like let you switch like there's games where it's just like yeah, hey, you, you, could, you could be at whatever you, you want yeah for me i don't think i don't think twice about like is this gonna change the narrative for me is this like i don't think that deep about it and i feel like niggas really do be bothered by like you know pick a side type shit i don't some games do change the story though like shit like um, like shit like, um mm-hmm. alone in the dark or like a resident evil if you pick a male mm-hmm. or a female they got different stories depending on which one you pick so yeah, uh, mm-hmm. Mass Effect is like that too. Like uh, different options open up with like you know romance options, or whatever. Who's available? Who's not? That kind of thing. If you into that, you um, said which game? Way people, uh, Mass Effect. The Mass Effect. Oh, games. okay. Yeah, yeah you'd be fucking aliens on there, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Be- it's well, right, yeah, to, hey, yeah. What, hey, which alien? <laughs> which alien you was fucking on, bro? What we on? Hey man, I don't know. But I only remember it was it was a while ago. It was a while. But no, no, no. Seriously, no. Um, definitely. You still waiting uh, on the text back. <laughs> 
I shoot like I think it's more about like Western RPGs do that because they have all those like like it's like uh, Obsidian, Bioware, uh, Bethesda Game Studios. They have they have those like those trees where it's like you go talk to someone and you got like your different options, Paragon, whatever. And then it's like they always throw in something. As a matter of <laughs> fact, even Cyberpunk did this as well, where it's like depending on your origin, like it depended like <laughs> some of your options might open up with in regards to like what you know about certain situations if you are a corporate person or you were a nomad or whatever. And you see that in gender too, where like uh, maybe in a particular quest, an NPC would flirt with your character if she's a woman versus like be more hostile or whatever if if your character's a dude. So oh, so you talk about you talk about Horizon. Stuff. You talking about Horizon? <laughs> that's that's pretty much what that was that whole experience. Any nigga that talked to her was a was an annoyance. But you know what I just thought about? <laughs> y'all know, y'all know what game feels like? It was sent out there for the inside of the developers to be like, see, I told you, Death Loop. It had a black male and a black female, and that shit was ass. I really feel like the industry looks at that game and be like, see, don't do that shit. <laughs> it's it's going to flop. <laughs> I think that was it out. Mm, I hated that game. That game was yeah, ass. I don't, like, I don't like that, Loop, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Gear 6. There's rumors that Gear 6 will be revealed or announced this, this summer in uh, June, that, uh, during the June showcase. I think it's about time. Uh, when did Gears Five come out? Twenty twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. So it's 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 about yeah. time. Hey, uh, Damn. I look I look forward to to Gear Six, man. Like I said, I my stance is I think they need to jump out the window, um, because the gears. I, I think gears have has gotten pretty. I think uh, kind of predictable and you know just kind of par for the course with what you expect from a gears game with five and five with four and five, they did add a few more gameplay elements and mechanics. I really like what they did with five. Um, but they have stepped it right. They took you know, they, they dipped they toe in the water. Cause I felt like they were scared to get all the way in bro. Just, just go crazy. You have nothing to what? lose anymore. The gears franchise. What, what were they holding only- back on? Well, like the open world stuff. As, so, as somebody who hasn't played any of the Gears of Wars, like that, I, like I they know. they added like what every game does now, right? Op- more of an open world and light RPG mechanics, mm, right? Okay. So and like side missions and stuff like that. So I think mm-hmm. any I, I've said I think any idea that you have with Gears, you need to just throw it in in Gear Six if you feel like it could just make this game this uh six stand out versus the previous ones because you know people people kind of know what to expect and i think like since the, Ge- the gears franchise is on has been on a decline right that's that's mm-hmm. just facts S- same yeah. same same thing with with halo so you have nothing to lose in my opinion so why not take all your ideas all the things you wanted to try go full blown uh m- Full blown like RPG side side quest, you know, new game, you know, new ways uh, that the gameplay ju- that that the game just plays. Just throw all those ideas in there, man. Like, what, what's what's gonna happen? It's, I feel like nothing bad can happen from that. Don't play it safe. Mm-hmm. I just feel like just there's no reason to play it safe with gears anymore. Like you're up to number six. Now's the, the time to like, well, who who knows how many of these we even have left to make. I don't know if, like, I don't know if we're, we get another trilogy. So, and, and I'm sure they probably don't know yet either. So now's the time, the end, you're at the end of the second trilogy. Go all out, bro. That's what I think. This, this ain't, and we ain't expecting this to come to PlayStation, right? Is this one of the games that they're trying to keep sake over there? It's hard to imagine um, for me. But. It's hard to imagine, but once, once Halo goes, then gear, gear, is, gear is gone. So until then, those are like a safe haven for now. Um, but but yeah, um, no, I, I'm in agreement. Um, I miss Gears. Um, I, I hate today's gamers because uh, I think Gears and Halo are some of the best in terms of multiplayer. I don't like today's multiplayer games. But um, what Gears need to do, I feel like they took a long enough hiatus with, with five, six years. Um, 
they should take a, a full a full step of what they attempted to do. They they tried they they changed enough to say, hey, you know, they did some things, right? And I feel like Gears Five was to address uh, Gears Four shortcomings because people complained that Gears Four, oh, you know, they played it safe. It was too uh, it was too much like the originals and stuff like that. So the game got like uh, punished for being too much like the what being like the game that the series like would made gears gears five there's like okay we're gonna open the game up we're not gonna go open world we're gonna be we're gonna open we're gonna make it a wide game uh uh, a hub world we're gonna throw on side quests we're gonna throw in rpg elements we're gonna throw in choices we're gonna you know yeah throw do something uh crazy at the end or whatever um and it's still when when you look at the reviews still wasn't good enough and um, it, Gears 5, I think, was also was the first Gears, like, you know, where both um, all modes, I think, where they were targeting 60 FPS from the get up. Uh, this was the 60 FPS game on the Xbox uh, uh, 1X as well. So, but um, <clears throat> I, what they got to do, we know they're going to push uh, the envelope on visuals. Uh, we know their the gameplay. It, it's like I heard other people, I was watching I LP and everybody was like, oh, they need to make it more of a diverse multiplayer. And then what they mean by that is no shotguns and like not make get away I from the shotgun agree with multiplayer. That. It needs to be dynamic. That's the ident- identity thing. Like and they is. tried. They they tried every gears after literally gears uh two. Um, they would throw in like all these crazy weapons and whatnot. They weakened the Nasher once more. They added another version of the Nasher. They like they put in like they tried to do like map control and put like specialized weapons and stuff like that. And people just go with the all reliable. <laughs> you think it's because of the movement system? Just to cover shit, it just makes sense to duck roll, duck roll, shotgun yeah. one or two, two, one or two times. Yeah, because Gears of War was initially pitched as a you know a cover shooter but the thing is when the community got to it they ain't play as a cover shooter they went up in no. your face and that's, yeah. and that's what it is today yeah Ge- gears the way gears plays right there's not really any other game that honestly plays like it there's not really a third uh, another third person shooter that plays like it because people like when they made the gears multiplayer you know the original was tacked on so the when gamers got their hands on it they started playing a, a way that was completely different from what was, in, what was intended with the wall bouncing and all this stuff. None of that mm-hmm. stuff was intended to be in the game. That stuff that gamers made, made like it, it made a mechanic within the, the game itself and all the other different things that different moves um, that people pull off, pull off in gears. Right. But I think that play style doesn't sit well with a lot of like i would think newer gamers today like if a newer a newer gamer picked up like gears and tried to do all the 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 you know the wall bouncing and you know the the way that the movement is in in gears i feel like they would have a very hard time like any 20 something year old i feel like anybody in like their mid early and even late 20s because a lot of the thing is a lot of i don't know uh, with a lot of these xbox games no but a lot of these xbox games let's be real like bro as we've said the biggest fans of them be like 30 plus right and and the the it's like xbox doesn't have any it, it feels like there's not a new um generation that's coming behind like the 30 and 40 year olds that were playing stuff like gears and halos so you you give I feel like if I give a rand somebody in their twenties gears now they, I, I don't feel like they can play that I don't feel like they can play that game it's just very specific and I don't feel like it, it's very um it's it's very accessible and, and and welcoming and I'm not saying they should change it uh for because because then you start to offend the the hardcore and the 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 OGs that were there from 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 the start you're gonna upset them if you overhaul it and change it too much but. If you want a bigger audience, you're going to have to make it make it more accessible, too, because it's I don't I don't it, it's 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 the same predicament that Halo was in, mm-hmm. like with with the way Halo plays, you know, the original one played and they tried to, like, keep it consistent like that. If you give, uh, like I said, a 20 something year old Halo now and you tell them the rules of Halo like, oh, you it's actually better to um to shoot from the hip. Oh, and you know, there's oh, I hated that shit as a kid. Stuff, I hated that that was bro. Stuff stuff like that is weird to 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 newer gamers, 
So they they like, no, I'm not playing this. Like you, you gotta you only gotta shoot from the hip and you can't do this and you can't it's 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 these games have very certain parameters that the newer generation is just gonna be like, bro, we are not playing this outdated garbage. That's what they gonna feel. So I, I feel like it, it doesn't really resonate well with a younger generation and they gotta like kind of find that balance. You know what sucks? Go ahead, oh, go ahead my bad. Go ahead. No, no, you good, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, it, it sucks, but I think I genuinely miss the days of tagged on multiplayer. I think some of my most favorite multiplayer moments was uh, just saying, all right, let me go see what this shit about, and then it ended up being heat. Hmm. Yeah, yeah um, I, I was going to say, uh, you know, I agree with you, BG, but the, here's the problem is that you got to find that balance between yeah. creating new innovative game design and also satisfying the hardcore audience that's always yeah. going to be there. It's, and then whatever new innovative thing that you come up with, you better nail it. Because if you don't nail it, you basically have kind of betrayed your hardcore audience who just wants the same old, same old. They're not happy with what the end product is. And then you didn't bring in a new audience to, to actually kind of replace the hardcore audience that you used to have. Because we see these games and, you know, we're older gamers and we were into these games when they were the it thing, but they're not anymore. Like Gears' is population is concurring numbers is nowhere near even any like that top 10 list that came out last week where everyone was looking at the top 10 of all four big platforms. Gears is nowhere near anywhere in the top 20 if, if we saw a top 20. So like, how do you get those people? You're going to have to incorporate some elements of a game that Gears hardcore <laughs> players don't care about. But if you execute it well, it can be a transition that really works, but if you don't, you just end up basically tanking your whole IP because you're going to lose the people who are always there. And then you're also going to not get any of the new people too. So it's like a risk that you take, but you got, you have to take it. If not, you're just going to have like every release is going to be this dwindling number of hardcore mm -hmm. gears players. And there will be less of them with gears six than they were with gears five and gears four. And I mean, you just got to take that risk and make that jump. I think they are doing that. But if all the rumors from all the insiders are like, oh, Gear 6 is amazing. Oh, you can't wait. You just, just wait until this summer. And I'm like, all right, whatever. You know, like, I mean, I, I, I don't take any of that. I want to see it for myself. But it seems as if the coalition is actually trying to uh, advance the game design. Because I look at, I think about Gears. I think about stuff like, you know how like you play the campaign and you go into an area and you know you're about to be in a fight yeah. because the way they design the level, you just mm -hmm. see all the cover elements. It's just very like predictable, yeah. very predictable. Just like surprise me, you know, shoot, shoot a uh, carbine in the head again or something. I know where it's like scare the crap out of me. Show me something different where I'm not automatically known. Oh, it's about to be a fight 10 seconds before the fight shows up. Yeah. Just little things like that. They don't Some do. verticality would help. They've done that a little bit. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. That's, they get paid the big bucks. It's not for us to figure out. So I hope right, there's right. something slightly new. Switch it up. You know, the game design, gameplay, uh, all that good stuff. I mean, I don't know what they're going to do. Like, I, I think the ending of Gears 5 was a mistake with that optional choice. Mm. I, think, I, I think they should have actually chosen i don't because you because you have now you have to choose one right it's the same thing with like yeah. infamous then if they say like the canon ending what was it jack what was which one was the canning ending that they chose no for infamous i don't even remember oh wasn't it that he cole was good i think it was the good ending for cole um so yeah you, oh, you come like, up from the first one yeah 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 yeah, yeah so it's like the, the problem with that right is for the next game, both those characters, I mean, the game been out for like, what, five years now? So we yeah. can talk about it for real, for real. But like, oh, I was know, just about I'll... to start playing it tomorrow, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> you good, man. You, you be all right. No, um, no, those are, uh, so the two characters in question, they, they're, they gotta be minor characters in Gear 6 because if you didn't make that choice, you can't have a, like, one of those characters be like a, like a, a major part of the story, a major yeah. part of the game. No, because what if you didn't choose that character? That, that character's not there. So what is it? You know how you solve that make issue? any sense? 
You do solve um, the issue by doing a time jump, and they're both dead. <laughs> then, then it makes no. Then what was the point? Of the, yeah. the choice, oh, then? Man. They, no, they, no, they no. Yeah, one, you, you know, one, one of one of them, they'll they'll understand. Like you know, one of, we know how one of them died, and the other one died some other way in between the games. You can't. The the issue with that nah, is that's cheap. you that's cheap. can't <laughs> kill. Okay, no, one of them you can kill off 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 screen. The the other one you can't. No, I I think that's cheap. I think I just think it's cheap. It's a mo. It's it's a, emotionally cheap, right? Because one of the characters that the characters that you had the option to kill, you didn't have real. You really didn't like have no attachment to him. They didn't like create this emotional attachment over two games he was just a a, a kind of add-on character like oh this is my buddy like when he if you killed mm-hmm. him nobody really cared there's one if you kill the other character there's real emotional weight to that so right that's the I, that in my opinion that's the one you should if you were going to make something canon make it that because there's meaning I- behind it no non RPG, they gotta stop doing this shit, bro. I hate when Ghost of Tsushima two is stupid, bro. Because like y'all said, if, we, if you ever play Ghost of Tsushima, you know your decision yeah. at the end. That mm-hmm. character is gonna be in the second fucking game. So everybody that killed him in the first game gonna be like, oh, what the fuck? Like, come on, it's stupid, bro. Just yeah. put put the ending you want. You always talking about you trying to make games to where people play mm-hmm. what you intended them to play. Your vision, put your vision in. The, that's that's. And if they do what Smooth just said, that. You're you're directly um, lessening the value of your last game. You just you know you what they do. We just putting bullshit in our games at that point. You, you know what they do. That they try to give some type of value or worth when they try to do an honor system in games. They That's they true. try to add weight to your decision making, and they think it's going to be emotional riveting once you get to the. If end. you're gonna do a sequel, though, you can't do it. If you plan on yeah. ever having a sequel to that game, you just cannot do it, bro. Because there's going to oh, yeah. have to be a, a true ending, bro. Like all, the, all they they just make a prequel. That's all they do. Uh, yeah. Let's just let's just go b- before that. You know, let's just. That shit trash. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll be I fucking hate prequels. To, yeah, I'll be interested to see what what the hell they do. But um, okay, this summer, we'll see. Um, and I think Jeff Grubb was the one that originally leaked that information. I think it was him. Yeah, it was him. Okay, cool. Uh, where, what else we got? Um, that start, I think that South Park game came out when we were on break. It's, it, by all accounts, it sucks. We don't got to talk about it. We don't got to spend no time on it. It's, I think it's like in the fifties on Metacritic. I don't Damn. know why, why they didn't just well, make a, breaks, another... Man. I don't know why they didn't just make another RPG. Uh, Fall from Grace, for, man. For South Park. Jack, go ahead and stream that, man. Hell no. They bugging, bro. They should have definitely made. And you know what's crazy? Them two South Park RPGs not even made by the same developers, bro. Two separate devs made them games, and they were both good. Like, they yeah. could have did this shit again. Yeah, it's at a 60 on, on Metacritic. Yeah. Well, wonk, wonk. <sighs> yeah. That shit looked ass from the beginning, bro. Yeah, it did. Hey, um... Let me ask a smooth some real quick. Yep. Do you how do you feel about um, Xbox and I guess PlayStation for Jack as well? How do you feel about them trying to get either new mascots or using the same mascots they've had for franchises that they're not really doing nothing with? Do y'all put, do y'all does that annoy y'all at all? Mm. I think franchise uh, uh, um, mascots are pointless in games. It's a thing and, of the, it's and, a thing of the know, past, yeah. man. Yeah. Except for like Nintendo, stuff. but I would say PlayStation mascot now is actually I would say it's like Astro Bot. They even designed they even designed Astro Bot to look like all their peripherals and consoles, if you notice. So yeah. I feel like that's, that's the, I feel like that's the mascot. It was um I thought to ask because I, I was looking at something. I think it was Astro Bot and it had like a, a Jack and Daxter Astro Bot or this Astro Bot. It's like it had all these Astro Bots. I'm like, y'all not doing shit with these like y'all not doing nothing with these though. And I think they just, try, I don't like that, that they trying to cash in on the uh, us older gamers' memories and fondness of them. And it's like, but you're not doing nothing with it, so stop putting them on the fucking screen. So it, it kind of annoys yeah, me. It's, it's nostalgia at the end of the day. That's why they... Yeah, yeah. A um, few lay, layoff announcements. Sega uh, is selling off the uh, Company of Heroes developer Relic and laid off 40, 41 um, employees. I, I think in the whole company, they had like around over a hundred layoffs, but specifically at that studio, there was like 41, I think, I think is the, um, the information. So yeah. Um, I never actually got around to playing company of heroes. It always looked like a cool RTS, but never really tried it. 
So uh, Nintendo is cutting 120 contractor roles. Uh, never really seen Nintendo do layoffs like that, but they're contractors. They're not even like full-time employees. So Yeah, I, I thought I also heard that some of them would be hired back as full-time as well. Oh, yeah. So, but there you go. but maybe that's like later on because like there was something about they were mostly like QA or or mm-hmm. what's the word I'm looking for Lo- localization people, but like with the the Switch two being delayed the next year, they didn't really need them like when mm-hmm. they thought they would. So they just you know how companies are. Yeah. Oh, we don't need you right now. You, you you may get like two or three days of sitting around doing nothing before they just cut you and save some money. So yeah. yeah. And the Halo and COD support studio Certain Affinity laid off 25 people. Um, thoughts well, and prayers? I ain't hear about any of this. Uh, yeah, that, that was this week, I think. Unless, when did this happen? Yeah. You know why you didn't hear about it, Smooth? Because you don't care. Just like I don't care. Uh, yeah, it happened six right. days ago. Yeah, that was 10% of it. I lost lo- sleep over this shit, Jake. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Did you? you had to hug your head. You had to hug your loved ones a little closer at night. Oh, I fell out to my knees when the laws came. That's what I did. I'm sorry, brother. Yeah. Um, Mike Yabari really don't really don't like Phil Spencer and Microsoft, bro. And he and he doesn't hide it. It's not, it's not subtle at all. Like, th- he does not like them. Um, so, what is it? Uh, about a week and a half ago, Oh, fuck, what did he say to Phil Spencer? He said, oh, no, it wasn't to Phil Spencer, but pretty much he said he believes that when you make good games, everything else will take care of itself. And that pretty much sounds like a direct reply to what like Phil said in the Kind of Funny interview and a lot of Phil's sentiments that no matter how great their games are, there's you know nothing they could do to really be competitive or whatever his wording was. And it seemed to be a reply to phil and then what was it just today uh just today he responded directly to xbox and you know xbox has been on the xbox twitter account is is fucking weird the shit the, yeah. it's it's always self-deprecating and humiliation <laughs> tweets <laughs> and, <laughs> and like and just tweets that make them make them feel like what? seem like really weak and make it, it, it's like <laughs> what they be saying it's like they're just co- they, they, they always just seem to be coddling like their inferior, you know, their 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 fan base with, with shit that they say. Hey, it's okay if you don't beat games. Hey, it's okay yeah. if you don't. Pay, if you, it's oh, okay if you don't pay I for. It was like on some uh, when your game flops and then like a reaction meme or some shit. I thought it was something like that. It's it's okay if you you know it's it's a it's okay if you don't play games. It's okay if you don't beat them. All this type of stuff, right? And then today they said, oh, it's games. Um, gameplay is more important than graphics. Essentially. Is is what they said. Yeah, you said so, like how a game plays greater than how a game looks. I think right. And yeah. Mike Ybarra uh, replied directly to that, and he said, "You you don't have to give them." Or he said, "You you can make it a choice." He said, "Why does it have to be a choice?" Though? Yeah, right. Why does it have to yeah. be a, be a choice? Meaning you could provide both. He's been shooting directly at Xbox. Like not wrong. He ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. <laughs> you could do both. Mikey Barr, he's fully justified. Y'all got to think about it, right? Mikey Barr used to be a high-ranking member of the Xbox staff. You know, he leaves, goes to, I think, Activision or Blizzard or whatever, right, to get away from Xbox. And then they fucking purchase Activision and Blizzard. He's like, I'm with, the, I'm with these motherfuckers again. Mm-hmm. And he leaves. He ended up leaving again. Like, damn, I can't get away from you motherfuckers. Like, yeah. you tired of it, bro. He really doesn't. Oh, I've never seen someone wild. run so far in the opposite direction of a company, bro. Like, yeah, go ahead, slow <laughs> No, I, I think it was kind of funny because it was like there was a quote or whatever from someone who talked to him some months back, like after the the acquisition was done, and he was like, "They have to drag me, my dead body out of here or something like that out of Blizzard," and then you know he <laughs> yeah. makes the announcement that he's gone, and I'm just like, "Come on, <laughs> like like." Clearly, he wanted to keep that job. Like, I, I don't care what they say. Oh, you know, he, he chose the lead. Shut up. No, he didn't. Y'all fired him. Yeah, I mean, clearly, I don't like him. He don't like y'all. And and they gave him a nice fat package. It was like, yeah, get up Pause. out of here. Here's a box. Mm. Yo. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, my bad. No diddy. No diddy on that one. But no, no, I mean, they, they told him, get, get up out of here, yo. We, we don't want you. We don't like you. You don't like us. We don't, we don't see eye to eye. And he clearly... Clearly, don't see the eye to eye with anything they do, and I—I I mean, I get it because 
he's right. You could you can make you could do both. You could give people the choice. You've been doing that. Yeah, he ain't this guy has been one time at all. Uh, they should do a celebrity boxing match. <laughs> fire. I'm definitely so, taking uh, the blazer over that nigga. I'm taking Mikey Barr. You got a Phil Spencer got a big ass hitbox. Like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, that shit is crazy. Like, nah, he, he might. This is on that motherfucker. You hitting that anything? You might break your hand hitting that shit. Oh, <laughs> man. That like a bag of cheese. Shout out to Mike. Uh, what What do y'all think about the Google employees um, that hacked the PS portal to run PSP games, um, and then told Sony about it and how to fix it? Well, he did that for a check, right? Don't they offer like uh, ten or eleven thousand dollars if you can? Um, I have tell heard, them how they. I have heard Sony does that, which yeah, I'm I'm not see, but the, here's the thing though, right? I'm not mad at you at you finding an issue and then like getting paid for it. That's kind of fire. Like that that's you causing mm-hmm. a problem that's technically there, but you're causing a problem and then getting money from it. Oh, that's a fire. You're giving idea. yourself a payday. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Listen, I I would do that any day of the week to to find a problem and snitch about it and get paid yeah my thing is you're a google i think they were like google engineers google engineers get paid a lot of goddamn money so so my thing is like that that i I, sony gotta give me like if i'm a google engineer sony gotta give me a big payout for me to really care for me to be snitching like that i think another piece of it was he was already a part of their program I don't think I, I could be wrong, but from what I understand, he was already in it. So it was kind of like mm-hmm. a not an honor system, but it was kind of like, well, I, I did sign up for this, so I have to report it. I don't think it was on somewhere. He just did it and, and found the right channels to get paid for it. From mm-hmm. what I read. So, so he, he's, a, he's a white hat. He's a white hat hacker kind of dude. Yeah, that's like what it seemed like. Okay. Yeah, from what yeah, I read, it was like it was like, well, nigga, now that I found it, I'll show I, I'll show that I did it. But it, now the next step is for me to report this. So gotcha. Yeah, okay. he could have kept the shit to himself though. Yeah, all right. Um, did anybody uh try that? Run some PSP games on? N- I, I ain't know. breaking. N- nigga, that shit was two hundred dollars for yeah, remote play. I'm not breaking that shit. Do, yeah, I don't jail break my uh. <laughs> okay. Brother. Okay. Um, I mean, we have seen, like, I think jailbreaking some of these uh platforms, like, it leads to a sales spike. But then it like ruins the trajectory of the device later on. So, yeah, the PSP. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, we saw there was a new Marvel game announced, Marvel Rivals, which is essentially uh, Overwatch with Marvel character skins. That's oh true. my oh, god! It looks <laughs> yeah. whack. It looked whack. Oh they look whack. Why is it the art style <laughs> they use, bro? I hate that fucking art it's style. Only, it's only on PC though, so there you go. Oh, okay. It looks lame. Yeah. It, I cuz I don't like Overwatch and how it plays uh and apparently neither do <laughs> Overwatch fans anymore. Um but I never liked it. And when I saw this, I'm like, bro, y- y'all could have y'all could have uh chosen a lot of other games. It's like the same shit, bro. Like it ain't even no difference, bro. Like Yeah. It it literally looks like one for one, just Overwatch style gameplay. You instead of instead of uh, the character doing this, oh, you're Spider Man, so you're swinging instead. And it's like, bro, nah. I'm... Listen, if it's free to play, I don't know if it is. I'll give it a try. I think but it probably I'll, will I'll, be. I'll, I'll probably hate it. I, I, I'll probably yeah. hate it. So I, I think it has the opportunity to to have some success. Um, PC gamers seem to jump on free to play games that that mm-hmm. they, they they tend to have fun with. Um, Oh, as you mentioned, the Overwatch community ain't really happy with Blizzard right now anyway, with the way Overwatch 2 has gone. So that's kind of like an opportunity to maybe steal some of that community away mm-hmm. from them. Here is a basically similar kind of game that you've been playing, but with characters that we all know from the MCU, Marvel Comics, whatever. Um, I think it's got a chance, but it's just like, even though it may look like Overwatch, does it play like Overwatch? Because if, that, if it don't play like Overwatch, and even though there's some people who can't stand the way it plays, for the people who do like that that game design, if it don't play like it, they don't they don't give a shit. They're just going to go back to Overwatch. Yeah. Yo, I'm going to say this too, bro. Disney, bro. Star Wars and Marvel. That, listen, they're going crazy. Bro, it's, it's a sudden yeah. oversaturation is a real thing, right? Um, mm-hmm. and it could be argued, even though the MCU did great things for movies, I, it could also be argued that it did a lot of negative for movies as well. And uh, 
they're trying to fuck up gaming right now. I don't know if y'all know this or not. I like Spider Man and all that jiggy shit as much as the next nigga, but goddamn, bro, like when is enough enough, bro? What's going on with all these fucking Marvel games, bro? And it ain't gonna get no better. They only gonna make more and more, bro. Like, yeah. Look at Insomniac. Insomniac, they they cook now, right? They ain't gonna be making shit else but fucking Marvel games. Yeah, like. they're a mistake. That's a mistake. Yeah, bro. Come on, man. Um, yeah. Did y'all talk about the Stellar Blade uh, demo last week? No, we, we weren't here last week. week. We can, oh, okay. No, my, yeah. We can talk about it now. Thank you for joining uh, the conversation, brother. Yeah. So, Stellar Blade demo came out? Hey, I'm seeing you in a couple weekends, Jack. I'm going to be some fucking going on. Giddy. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Who just said that, slow mo? You a nasty nigga, slow mo. Hey, 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 you a nasty nigga, slow mo. Hey, slow mo back shot. You a you a crazy nigga, bro. Jack, we saw your mouth moving. You can't blame this on me, man. I don't know what you're talking about. That was fucking crazy. How how he on camera trying to pin it on other people? (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Wow. Jeez, think you know a guy? Ah. (laughs) Golly. Uh, Stellar Blade demo came out. Um, all the horn dogs mm. played it. Um, I like it. I think there is a slight uh, input lag. I think that's probably been confirmed. Um, there is like yeah. a slight input lag. Yeah, they, they told us delay. to play in game mode. They told us to put our TV in game mode. They yeah, they need that. to fix that. Who that's the fuck all, I, put their TV in game mode anyway. Yeah. Like, what the yeah. hell? I, they, they need to fix that on the developers' uh, backs, uh, back end. Um, they can what? fix that. Come on, Jack. The, on the back end? Right. On the back yourself. end? Like, no, no, that's not on. what you was about to say. Come on. Man. You had to get yourself. Come on now. Come, why you always got to? Anyway. Well, I just noticed you had to catch yourself. You, had, hey. you saved yourself. It's cool. Hey, anyway. BG back clap. Y'all see it. Let's they need it. a. They it's need like a, the SpongeBob me when they make that little, that little, that fish around that circle. Yeah, that was a little one of them situations. Bro. You they, need a, they need to fix it on, on their end. Um, okay. And, uh, I like I like the demo. It's uh, you know there was a whole bunch of uh, speculation you know, like would it be a Souls game? It is not a Souls game. I, I, I was getting real <laughs> annoyed at that conversation of people who are unexperienced or inexperienced in Souls games telling me <laughs> it's 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 a Souls like. No, it's not. But BG, it has a campfire. Like it's. Oh, it, oh! It has it has a hub where you can sit down and rest. Oh, okay. Well, so does like every other damn game nowadays. Oh, it has an open it, well, not even an open world. It just has is wide linear. Like people were essentially calling it a Souls like because because of things that that are just ubiquitous in every game now. That doesn't make Pretty it much. a Souls game. That just makes it a modern game. It doesn't have the things that are specific to Souls games, such as losing resources upon death such as no di- no difficulty settings this game has a difficulty setting um even even the the way the combat is like no s- the one game uh Sekiro has y'all th- which is not a souls game by the way one that one game has y'all thinking oh because from software made that and this has some similarities to Sekiro even though it has no similarities to any other souls game that has y'all thinking like oh it's souls like or souls adjacent it is not so let's kill that conversation. It's not. Um, yeah. But it's 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 a good act. I think it's a good action adventure game from what I played with the demo. You know, um, I'm I'm big on games that involve you know timing parries and 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 dodging and you know Skin learning tight suits and shit. Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah. why not? It's not bad. Learning enemy patterns. Um, all that, all that stuff. I'm I'm big on that. I like that. I like that type of stuff. So it's 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 up my alley. And uh, yeah, I look look forward to it. I think it's a so, so me and Smooth had this. Smooth was saying that the game doesn't visually look good. I don't think this game is like correct. It, it's it's not a it's not a Hellblade, right? But it's mm. far from a bad looking game. I mean, it's and I played on. Uh, it has three modes: performance, balanced, and resolution. I played on balanced, which is like between fifty and sixty. Uh, that's where the frame rate stays. Um, and I think it's a it's a it's a very good looking game, very sharp. Um, I'm not sure what Smooth is 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 seeing. I'm not sure what you're seeing there. I I, I had to I, I kept switching monitors and, and and switching modes. The game is just very noisy. Uh, whatever uh, I don't know what they these temporal upscaling, whatever thing they they're using to reduce the resolution so they can get 60 FPS, it makes the game noisy. And the game is too like 
has too many like shininess and stuff going on in it so it's it's hard to hide so it kind of mm-hmm. has like this fuzz appeal it's like you know when you go up and you look at her like face is like her hair is like freaking staticky and and like and when you go up against like um and w- it's just very it's just just noisy like most un- unreal engine for performance mode games um and that's why i'm like what are you guys looking at and um it's not like it's ultra like shiny and ultra clean up. There's there's no ultra realism in there. And I'm not saying it's a bad looking game. It's just that whatever technique they're using uh, for their reconstruction image is just bad. And it's, it's just very noisy. It's distracting, actually. Okay. Hmm. Who else? Anybody else play the demo? I played that demo. Yeah. I didn't beat it, bro. That shit was, uh, I did not like that combat whatsoever. Shit felt slow. You can call it input lag and whatnot. But I was like, felt like I was running through syrup. Um, it felt like Liza P demo. It felt like there was input lag. It felt like it was one of those situations where I need to play it six, seven hours to unlock a skill for it to feel natural. So, first impressions for me, I would fucking. Um, I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. When you first start the demo, like you had to unlock the 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 perfect parries and the perfect dodging. I don't think those were unlocked from from the jump. With without those, That's like true, you yeah, can unlock that in the demo. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, yeah, I ain't even know. I I beat that first section and then I went I was in See, an alleyway with a gate. I was like, nigga, I'm That's I, I why may, that may be why you didn't like it because you yeah, like, already had anybody in though, right? I think you should already and had Nigga, and then I tried to heal. I swear I was pressing up button to heal or some shit. And what I was like, what the f- When you know. get to that first campfire, you get that perfect parry dodge shit. Yeah, the, without yeah. that, the game yeah, that's, yeah what, like that's pretty important to the game. So I, I do agree with you. But that but that was the intro, so that's why it probably wasn't in the intro yeah. but once you get into the yeah. second section of the game they give you that and yeah that's it makes it much better i won't be yeah, buying that bitch at 70 i know that much i can confirm that with the heel like I, I remember like doing the the boss challenge that unlocks after you beat the demo and like the boss is down. I'm trying to heal while the boss is down. I'm like tapping the up button like three or four times before. I knew I wasn't leave. tripping. I knew yeah, I wasn't yeah. tripping. Th- that's definitely a thing. But also, I think when like the the slowness of her movement, I think they did that because they want you to use triangle to kind of close the distance between enemies. Because when you oh, that's... press triangle, then you, she kind of like there's like a a, a dash diagonal jumping. Yeah. yeah. Um, I do like the when you're fighting bosses, like the different colors that kind of tell you what you probably need to do in order to, to uh, deal with an attack. So if, if a boss flash is red, you need to parry. If it flashes yellow, just dodging in any direction is good. Uh, blue, you need to do that. Like that, blink. like teleport dash, that blink dash into the enemy. And then if it's purple, you do it backwards out of the way. Once I figured that out, I was just, I was styling on that boss. I was whooping his ass. Just doing that. Now I start changing like uh, the, the the your loadout, your gear. You know, try out different things. I beat him with no gear on whatsoever. It, it got pretty easy once I figured out how the gameplay is supposed to be. But uh, yeah, there is some input lag going on for certain. Jazzy, uh, you want to say something? Oh yeah, because I played the demo. Oh, I kind of like it. And I feel like some of the, cause they did like a little sizzle reel of, of like what you can do like in the future of the game. And you can unlock it through like the uh, boss challenges that you can do. And you can do like more combat stuff with uh, Eve, the main character. So I think this game has potential, but we'll just see how it goes. Like by the time of it is released. Yeah. And hopefully, because yeah. a lot of people didn't know, like for like the auto pickup, you had to go to like the settings and like change it because it's yeah, not like that. defaulted in the game. Yeah. Should be oh, on really? by default. Yeah. Yeah, it should I be. didn't know I didn't know that was auto pickup at all. Hmm. Yeah, I missed it. Yeah. I, I was and, looking for it and somehow I missed it. Yeah. Yeah, you got to turn on the settings. I don't know why that's not on by default because in a game like that where you're in combat, you're not we're going to stop, press a button and it, of course it does it's not like instant. It's like a if my if I'm not mistaken, isn't it like a kind of like a load where you have to hold it down to pick it up? Kind of. Yeah, um it's, it's... It, that in the middle of combat kind of stupid i'm I'm sorry but yeah um yeah go ahead and and, and it's like uh yeah it's not like some of the items are the easiest to see like you could walk kind of walk past them and forget like it was even dropped um but i I do think that the game 
like you said, Jazzy, there's something to unlock in the skill tree that I feel will make this game just better. You know, like in some games, it starts out shaky and then you unlock a move, not, not because it makes the game easier, it just makes it better. It's like, okay, now that I got this yeah. move, shit is just flowing better. You know, combat just feels more fluid I fucking and smooth. hate when games do that, bro. Mm -hmm. I hate it, it, when yeah. games do that, bro. Because, bro, even, even both God of Wars, I kind of felt that way. I can't remember exactly what it is that you unlock or that, that changes, but the first, like the first <laughs> couple of hours of both 2018 and Ragnarok, until you unlock something, it's like, yo, this, 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 the combat is just that's, like rough. I can't remember what it is. Design. That's, ga that's bad game design. You know that, right? Because you're purposely, you're purposely gimping my experience until I can progress further. I don't like that, bro. I really don't. And then, and then on top of that, sometimes if you got it too early, it just makes the game too easy. Like, that's just bad yeah. game design. Oh, yeah. Liza P. Yeah, Liza P was really bad with it. Eric brought that up. Like, you had to unlock. The the uh the the ability to just once you get knocked down you had to unlock the ability to get up <laughs> like they patched mm -hmm. it they patched it they patched it oh yeah like but I it's I, not, yeah, I was it's, not an, it's not an ability no more now you can just do it naturally I was halfway through the game when they when they patched it right which is which is weird right and then like just just to recover faster it's it's pretty much uh, to recover faster when you're knocked to the ground that was in a, and it, there's still some a bunch of other stuff in that skill tree where it's like bro I really got to unlock this this is like a basic feature in most of their games but like they probably like they're probably like trying to build out their skill tree and couldn't think of shit so that's like, that's probably why they did that I, I always use this example in hollow knight you have to use a uh you have to use one of your skill points to see where you're at on the map and that's fucking absolutely ridiculous to me that is absolutely fucking ridiculous to me i i hate that about that game bro like why would you do that oh <laughs> like in, in um in uh horizon Remember when you had to unlock the longer roll? I was like, the longer dodge? I was like, all right, bruh. And then in, in, in Forbidden West, that wasn't even in the game. It didn't exist. You couldn't unlock it. This didn't exist whatsoever. So it was like, I don't know whether they, they thought the long, the long roll was OP or something like that. I don't know what it was. Like, really? Okay. That's, that's great. Purposely making your game play worse when you know you can make it actually play better, bro. It's, yeah. that's, that's sick work right there. Literally sick work. Yeah. I would I much would prefer be... they have all that stuff readily available for you and just increase the enemy AI or number of enemies on screen to make it more difficult instead of artificially making it difficult Ex by exactly. hindering you. Yeah. yeah. Facts. Agreed. Agreed on that. Um, you buying so this yeah. Blade, BG? Yeah, I got it. I got it. So yeah. you, you could just play. Oh, I might, I it. might fuck around and play that then, man. I ain't gonna need a lot, bro. Yeah, I, I got might it. play that then. No, As, shit. But I've said I'm not Damn. playing any other game until I platinum, um, Rebirth, oh, and I'm like, I'm like, I think <laughs> I could do it before. I, I think I could do it before uh, Stellar Blade comes out. I think so. Yeah, because it comes yeah. out in one, two, three weeks. Yeah. Damn, I, I might fuck fine. with that then. That's crazy. Yeah, Sheesh. I should be fine. Um, what else? Oh, okay, so listen, I don't want to talk about this, but oh, it God, seems I know exactly it, what you're talking about. I don't want to talk about it. I truly don't listen. Un understand that I don't want to talk about this, y'all. Chat panel, I don't want to talk about this. Y'all know that anything SOCOM related, I don't want to hear about it, but it's actual rumor and news. And I mean, it's been rumor and news like a shit ton of times, and I've ignored all of it. But people kept on sending it to me. It seems to have some type, some type of validity that a SOCOM PS5 game is in the works. And it comes from a website called actoraccess.com. And this guy called David Veach, right? When you look at his like profile, it says, and you know, it has all his like, accolades or what he's been involved in television film motion capture theater so he's been in a he's been in a bunch of stuff and he you could actually see his like his video reel you know how some actors have like video reels he has like a video reel on youtube that i that i i believe i saw um and under his motion capture he only has one thing under his motion capture status which is it says socom 111 it says co-star and then 
uh, the pub the publisher owner says Sony. That that's it. I I can't now. I can't think of. I mean, it says Sony, right? So it's like, what else could this be besides a game? I guess if it was just like SOCOM by itself and it didn't say Sony, I would be like, oh, maybe it's it, a. It could be it could be a movie or a TV show. Yeah, it could. It could. That's yeah, actually true. true. But it says motion capture. I mean, and, who knows? And and yeah, you you they use motion captures in, in 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 movies and stuff like that. But I'm like, I'm thinking like, okay, if this was a SOCOM movie, do you do you really need motion capture for a yeah so for that kind of game you would just have just people acting you wouldn't yeah. need to mocap them yeah if you were doing the actual live action thing yeah if it was a live action movie you don't need like it's not fantasy or you know you can have cgi these... you can have cgi and uh live action sure movies. sure that that you know what i'm saying but it's not like fantasy where you need a whole bunch of people and because it's it's literally just soldiers you know and it, it, so i don't know I'm not I'm not getting all hyped for it or or excited because I've given up on that a long time ago, getting my hopes up for a SOCOM game. I said I'm never believing there's a SOCOM game literally until Sony announces it. That's that until then, I even like y'all know I tell Blaze, I'm like, Blaze, do not talk to me about SOCOM. Don't bring it up. He be just, Blaze be hitting me up, sending me rumors and sending me, you know, there's a whole bunch of studios that make fake SOCOM games. I'm like, Blaze, don't talk to me about this, sir. I don't want to hear nothing about it until it's confirmed by Sony. So, those are my thoughts. Did we ever find out? I was gonna say, did we ever find out what that? Uh, remember when Gorilla opened up a second studio and they were supposed to be working on a multiplayer game? Did we ever find out what that was? It was that Fortnite what? multiplayer game. It was, it was uh the Horizon, yeah, it was that that Horizon game because the um the oh, dude okay. that worked on uh uh what you call it. The Ubisoft game, um, uh, Siege. Yeah, Siege. Uh, he came over to Gorilla, and people were like, "Oh, why would they need somebody that worked on uh, a, a strategy, you know, first person shooter, unless they were working on SOCOM and all that rumor?" But yeah, it it yeah. It, it, it was just Horizon. It seemed like. Uh, oh, okay. So, yeah, that's that's the rumor, man. I don't. It's it's interesting. I'll, I'll say that. I mean. Do you even legit or not? If it's legit, right, and they announce it, do you like you are you ex are you excited because what you just haven't had it in a while? But or, like, who would be making it, and who do you do you trust that whomever is responsible for it can capture whatever it is that made SOCOM great? Because I don't think you, I think you'll get a SOCOM game in name, but do you think you'll get it in experience? It won't be it won't play anything like a previous so SOCOM game. I know that for for sure because SOCOM you can't translate that. You can't you can't make a SOCOM game like that anymore. That just doesn't work. That type of game design and gameplay just doesn't work. It would be SOCOM in name and they would have to okay, how does a SOCOM game in 2024 play? That's what they would have to figure out. So it would still probably have the 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 theme of SOCOM and you know the the whole <laughs> military shooter and and the strategy aspect to it, but that's but that's about it. Like you won't have like a big thing of SOCOM was actual commands like voice commands and mm -hmm. giving your that's not the thing anymore in gaming. That used to be cool. It was a cool gimmick, but like maybe you could give your teammates commands. Um, you know, on the control by using the controller or something like that, uh, but I don't even know if they do that anymore. Oh, yeah, that, that, that game, that game made you made you buy headsets, right? That's what it was. Yeah, smooth. You know what the new SoCal gang gonna be, bro? They gonna have a dude in the military walking up. He gonna shoot a nigga in the head. Then he gonna start doing like the little shoot dance from like Fortnite and shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit gonna be hard. <laughs> yeah, they are gonna start doing Fortnite dances, <laughs> dabbing on niggas after they kill them and shit. Oh, I'm over and out. I was up the dumb ass shit. I mean, you know what's funny is. <laughs> The original SOCOM games already had that, like the dance. Really? Like if yeah, yeah, bro, look look it up on you. If you if you, I never I never played for yeah, uh, SOCOM you, before. So SOCOM kind of like was the first to do that. Literally, like in SOCOM two, if you online, if you killed somebody and went over their body, you would literally start dancing. Like they would do like cowboy oh, dance. I like met, wow, they oh, already yeah. did that. I never. Yeah, they had they had seen, mad I emotes. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, and, I guess I guess you will be doing it. And, but the thing is, if you did that, if you did that on, it was kind of frowned upon. 
if you did that, because niggas took that game serious, right? So if you dance on my body, it, it's it's up. <laughs> it's up. Like you don't don't do that unless you like you got really got smoke with somebody because they coming after you after that. Nah, They're like, that's, all right, that's, so that's, that's respect for any game a nigga turn on your dead body, but like that game always looks so serious. To me. I, <laughs> I, I never would expect it to handle shit like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. It's so it, it, it's funny. It, it had a bunch of different taunts. And like, if you did it on somebody's body, yeah, it was, it was uh, like, dudes would like have real beef. Like when you got back, cause you know, this is when games had lobbies and stuff like that. So if you dance on somebody's body and you got back to the lobby, it's, it's lit. <laughs> like they, they going off, bro. Like, you know how them days used to be. Yeah. It was, it was how would you say it though? Right. Would you be like, who, who jigged on my body? Like, how would you come in? How would you start it once you got well, danced you, on? You could see people's names. So they would, uh. As soon as you get back to the lobby, oh yeah, it's a whole. You remember lot the first of... time a nigga danced on your body? Yeah. Well, well, you know, how was not the... dropping their ass on your face. Not the Next first time. Yeah, like that, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, because how did you recover from that? Because the most infuriating thing, and it's like it's still the same thing in in, in games now, is like when someone taunts you, but like, bro, you ain't, you ain't even you ain't even beat me straight up. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like, oh, I was shooting somebody else. Like, imagine you shooting somebody else and you get shot in the side and 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 then he want to come dance on your body. Like, bro, that's not... How you going to dance nigga, on my body for that? Said, BG said, twerking on me is not the flex you think it is, nigga. <laughs> like, how, how you going to shoot me? How you going to shoot me in the side and come dance on my body? Like, bro, you ain't even see me 1v1. Nah, like, fuck... Fuck the dancing. Fuck the dancing. In multiplayer games, the worst thing ever is getting killed. And both of y'all could hear each other for them three seconds. Oh, mm -hmm. that used to piss me <laughs> off. Boy, I think Call of Duty used to do that shit. That it used to piss me off. Still? That proximity shot's funny. I keep that on. That shit used to... Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga killed me. Oop, again. And then run off. I'm like, you motherfucker. Why you stood? Yeah. Fire, fire. Yeah. Um, at hey, hey BG, I gotta run, man. I gotta take take care of these kids for a bit. Yeah. Appreciate I appreciate you, the invite, man. Yeah, good, good no to doubt. be here once again, yes, sir. All right, you guys have a good one. Yeah, See you, right, slow mo. Bro. Slow mo back shot. That's a good guy. Yeah. I fuck with him. We forgot to mention Bond here. He at WrestleMania, man. Shout out to Bond. Man. Oh yeah, Bond's oh, at WrestleMania. God. Uh, thank God. And uh, Bland was <laughs> just um. Yeah, let me, hold on. I got it. He I got it. He said, Blair just said he was going through some shit, man. Shout out to Blair. Oh, for real? Man. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought he just had to go to work. Yeah. No, nah, no. Nah, he said he was going through some shit, man. Shout out oh, to Blair. Oh, bro. damn. Sh yeah. Shout out to our brother. Um, Real quick, I just want to I just want to show this. The, uh, like, what some of the SOCOM um, dancing look like. Uh, oh, I need to get your ring pulled up. Let me see. Uh, how do you Are you saying you thing? haven't you haven't spoken with Blaze about this? <laughs> No, I haven't. Play for us somewhere with his dick through the ceiling here in that news. Facts. You got to. Yeah, just look at this. Just look at this. This is what niggas used to be doing on your body. Like, look, look at this little chicken dance. You see this? Let me see this. The, the, oh, yeah, they had the Michael Jackson shit. Oh, yeah. The backflip. Oh, that's fire. That's fire. Like a little chicken. You, you must have been getting fucked up, BG, because you know all the dances people do. Mm -hmm. See, bro, if someone did this to you, you was hot. You was hot going back to the lobby, bro. All the, you, all the fucking... I've never seen this before. That's you crazy. was ready to kill somebody. Yeah, don't backflip on my body, bro. Nah, 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 dog. That's crazy. Don't do that. Why you don't, why you don't play shit with Blaze? Blaze still be playing this game on the Discord, bro. You don't know being a On them servers, on them uh, custom servers, yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I be watching them play that shit. I need that new shit, bro. need that new stuff. Real right. company is your new so calm, yeah. Well, I, I retired that. Uh, so, what was that last summer anyway? Really? Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah I retired that. I retired that. Uh, shout out to uh, I'm gonna be a little bit messy. Why not? Shout out to uh, Colt Eastwood for insulting somebody wife, somebody's wife over Xbox. Shout out to him. Oh, you talking uh, about dude dead wife? That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so <laughs> dude said something to Colt. And Colt, dude says something no, about he like he didn't say nothing to Colt. It was something about what Xbox happened? in reply to Colt. It was it was about the character model in Fable, and dude right. was like, I guess dude implied the woman in Fable was ugly, but the yeah. guy in his profile, the guy that said the chick was ugly in the, the Fable, 
he had a picture of him and his wife. And I think Colt reposted a picture of his wife and was saying something about her, but dude, wife was... been dead for some years now. Yep. And then he was like, <laughs> my wife had a disease and she died, brother. Like, you... So it was some shit like that. I think that's yeah. how it happened. Yeah, and Colt was like, oh, she said something like, oh, you shouldn't talk, or I think that was the caption. I can't remember what he said, but, you know, pretty, he pretty much called the dude's dead wife um, ugly. Um, because well, he, didn't thing, know, he, didn't, he didn't know she was dead either, though. That's I mean, it doesn't that make did, it any did better. Did he apologize, or did he just, like, quietly ignore the I tweet? Think he, I think he deleted it. <laughs> he, he, deleted, he deleted the tweet, right? I'm snitching, because I'm, I'm hating. I'm snitching, I'm hating. He deleted the tweet, right, because this happened at, like, five in the morning so he thought like oh I could, it's early in the morning this could just slide up be slid right under the rug right but then later in the day it gained traction and i ain't gonna lie to you i retweeted that i'm like no i want everybody to see this okay because if they if this was me oh yeah they would have they would have oh, they no, would have got you about they would have got you about it oh, oh yeah Paris dm'd them on some like hey man what are we doing type shit they, they would have they would have said oh man see this is why they said he's a cancer to the community so i was like oh i'm retweeting this I, I'm, I was absolutely amplifying it. So it got a little bit more traction. Some people with, uh, you know, um, some more people with bigger followers started, you know, saying, hey, addressing is like, yo. And then he, that's when he that's when he apologized later on. See, he thought like because dude didn't have no um, the dude he said it to didn't have no followers like he didn't have, he <laughs> have no following. But that's like, oh, I could get away with this. Well, how did he apologize? He said, man, I ain't know the bitch was dead, bro. He just said it like that or what? Did he just get flew to like out of the country for an Xbox event? I mean, it didn't really. Yeah. Happen, he's, still, he's still good. Yeah. Going yeah. out the country living. Happily. Yeah, so Bro, getting cut, get some shit off at five in the morning is hilarious. Keep doing yes. it, BG. Keep keep spreading that shit. That'd be funny. Pause. So um, that nigga got another plate. Hey, so what's your? Hey, man, what is going on over there, brother? This is my first plate. The other one was a trial. I had to taste it. Before. A trial. <laughs> no, what you go? Hold on. So wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You either be like, all right, now nah, this shit ain't hitting. You got to, you got to run this back. Like you send it back mm -hmm. in the kitchen with the shit. If it ain't something hitting. like that, something like that. Damn, you oh, a real man. Ace move. You a real nigga, boy. I like that. Like a real nigga yeah. to me. So, I like that. Uh, so it, but it was the response was weird because. It's not like dude called Colt anything. He just said the, the character was ugly. So one would assume that Colt reacted this way because somebody insulted Xbox. I, am, I, am I looking at that wrong? Is, is, is no, my that's, purview that's off? That's, so he insulted, he insulted a dead man's <laughs> wife oh, because, he, because of Xbox, in defense of Xbox. Now, shit, bro. <laughs> He ain't no man. Like, what does it matter? I would, but no, nah, smooth. But look though, in this community, when when niggas say you you never go person, you attacking my family and all that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. for your I first response, okay, if I'm making fun of a video, I'm making fun of a video game. That ain't got sure. nothing to do with you. I ain't saying nothing about you, bro. And your first response is to make fun of somebody in my profile picture, my nigga. Like that's that's how you getting down right now. Like damn, no, that that's was crazy. True. That's that was crazy. That's true. That's, 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 weird. that's weird. if it was me. They would have tried to get me out of here, bro. They, listen, they tr they tried to get me out of here. Um, even though dude was lying for for a, a, a Doctor Umar gif. I didn't even say nothing bad. It was just a joke, <laughs> right? They tried to get me out of here for that. This man talking about somebody's like dead wife. I'm like, wow. And and they, hey, uni I, was I, but I'm the cancer joint, Cause you but know, I'm, uni yeah. a couple. Uni a couple of weeks ago, he got mad at Cody Eastwood and said he's gonna if he ever got a chance, he's gonna fuck his wife. And they, they tried to cancel Uni behind. <laughs> and then you, Uni been running with this clip like cracking the '80s, nigga. He got yeah. that motherfucker posted there where he trying to get his. And, dick. and here's the thing: if I did something like that, I should get a pass because I admit I'm a dirtbag and an asshole, right? The dudes who act like they're holier than thou and they are, you know, above all of, you know, all of the cesspool. They should be held more accountable. I live in the cesspool. That's that's my home turf. I, I you so stink. yeah. So when I do it, it should just be expected. But, you know you're a piece of shit, BG. You ain't got to tell us, bro. Yeah. So it's cool. Um, I and I ain't gonna lie to you. Listen, any chance I get to uh, kick any of these dudes' backs in, I'm gonna do it. Yo. And as soon as I see y'all slipping off this perfect little out this perfect little picture frame that y'all like to paint it paint that we know ain't real. Oh, I'm kicking y'all back in. I am amplifying that. Absolutely. So y'all better stay perfect. Cause as soon as y'all slip, BG is retweeting it. And I'm, I'm tagging the FBI, even though they can't I do like nothing. The, 
I like the hate. I like it. I like what you're saying right now. I tag do. tag an FBI, CIA, everybody. Look what this man did. All right, that's the type of time I'm on. Uh, what else we got? Uh, not much. This, uh, this nigga on wrestling dress like Alex. I ain't watching a minute. This nigga, on some, this nigga got on some sequin fucking pants. Speaking with some of on there and a bandana. speaking of FBI, didn't Jack just tag the president of the United States and FBI because they changed the formula I, of the restaurant? I had to. I had to because <laughs> Joe Biden's last State of the Union address, he talked about something called shrinkflation, which I didn't know was a thing. He said, you know, in your snack foods and the foods, they're charging more, but they're giving you less foods. If I'm reelected, right. I'm changing it, brother. <laughs> I get so it right I, here. Uh, go ahead, read that for me, brother. All right, let me try to read like you. Just order the two single patty cheeseburger combo from McDonald's. Shit was $97. FBI and POTUS, please launch an investigation now. This is the street place of shit Joel's talking about. Bro, two cheeseburgers. <laughs> and then he had double patties. No, man, one piece of cheese, one patty. Two burgers. Small so as hell. I was hungry. Just got to do some shit. I'm like, yo. This can't be too much. I look at the receipt. Nine seventy six. Are you fucking crazy? What's what's also Two next? Double, Jack, a double Jack, cheeseburger used to be a dollar, my nigga. They Jack took a patty and a cheese away, and it's still more than that now. Jack brother. Jack is trying to be fat on a budget, and I understand. I appreciate bro, that. Bro, I just wanna, I just wanna get an understand. I'm just trying to get some understanding going on. How fuck a double cheeseburger used to be a dollar with an extra patty and an extra piece of cheese? What the fuck going on, bro? <laughs> Where's my and money going, right? <laughs> and then you a double cheeseburger with that bacon on top of that bitch for $2. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Give me some bacon at least, my nigga. Like, what the fuck going on? This is what Jack is on. <laughs> Jack, the only nigga that ride on the drive through man and shit. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out why did it cost so much money? Where's my money going, bro? This nigga mad as shit when he pull up. This, this is what this is what upsets. That's a whole weapon wheel check, nigga. Fuck. This no, is what upsets you. No, bro. I, I will say, what's crazy is so this just happened to me, right? So I'm, I'm everybody know I'm moving, uh, right? So where I'm at now, right? I, uh, I had, I had, uh, cause I was in, you know, the, the other town where I'm moving to. It's, it's close by. It's literally 15 minutes away. So I, I was about to just buy some breakfast, order some McDonald's. McGriddle was like. 430 or something like that. I'm like, yo, since when McGriddles mm-hmm. is like over four dollars. It's mm-hmm. literally it's literally like a small sandwich, a McGriddle. And then I realized I forgot to change my location to where I was actually at. I was, you know, I had the location on the old spot. So I change it. The McGriddle at the new spot is cheaper. It's a whole 50 cent cheaper. I'm like, yo, how 15 yeah. minutes away you got a whole disparity of, of on the McGriddle 50 cent. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, they taxes, crazy, man. bro. They going crazy, bro. That's bro, what, nuts, bro. McGriddle, nigga. Bro, my mom got my sister something to eat at McDonald's the other week, bro. She got a ten piece nugget, not even a twenty piece nugget, ten piece nugget. I think two apple pies, nigga. The shit was like twelve dollars, nigga. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck that, is these prices, yeah. bro? Yeah, bro. What? Like hell no, they bugging. Yeah, man. Like anything. The brother meals, <laughs> like when you go to any any restaurant and, and and like well any fast food joint and get the meal, you be like, yo, I don't know if this meal worth it, man. I might bro. have to just get the burger. <laughs> like, bro, yo, what I, the? I'm all about oh. the a Big Mac combo super size. They ain't got super size no more. Big Mac combo super size like seven dollars, nigga. At the dough, like the whole shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Last night we were talking about this last night. You you pretty much have to have the any fast foods app to even feel like you're not getting like fucked on the prices, bro. Yeah. You have to use the apps. So I don't be using that. I gotta start every time you go there. You got a mobile order number now, bitch. Like, yeah, what? yeah. Go ahead and tell them TQ45 or some shit like that. Go and get a yeah, little code. I need, to, like, I need to give me a mobile order, dog. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll take the meal. Oh, okay, it's $12. Oh, well, take off take off the fries, take off the soda, take off the lettuce, too. <laughs> what the yeah, hell? You might, as, yeah. you might as well bend over in the drive, dude. Well, yeah, yeah, when you say combo, nigga, they, they push a different type of button. Like, oh, that nigga want the combo. <laughs> <laughs> the combo prices look like now. Okay, we got you. There. You know, oh. you know, bro. You know what I've been doing? When I go to Wendy's, Wendy's got the junior. They got the uh, the junior fries for the kids. I, I be, know you're not eating them tiny. Oh absolutely. my god, BG. His, his wallet want to allow for the regular size. My nigga, these I no, get bro, do, you crazy. Under, do you understand how small that fucking box? You bro, but it's enough. Size, uh, I get the kid size fries. Give me the give me the take off that combo. Give me the burger by itself. I'm gonna get a kids fry separate. 
And then I'm a I'm a I got a bottle of water. I'll be all right. I'm about, I'm about to go get a kids meal. My damn self, bro. They bugging with these prices, bro. For real, bro. Jack. What is who is this smooth you? ass naked in the back? What is that? Oh, no, no, come on, man. I'm about to say, what the fuck is going on? Yo. Okay. Can't, can't believe we're talking about you. Right you now. put you putting that fry box in your shirt pocket is crazy, BG. I don't done. think people no I don't people realize how small the shit. Look bro, at the general bro, chat, no, bro. but listen, small it, it, it comes with enough fries to satisfy you. You don't need the smaller meat or medium or large fry. First of all, if you get a that's large, how, who buys a large fry? That's way too much. You, if you get this, you you definitely sticking your tongue and sucking the salt at the bottom of that box, bro. You get like six Are fries it? in that bitch. No, it'd be a little bit more than it. it it's enough. It's just enough to satisfy BG, you. You're eight feet tall. There's no way that that's filling you up, bro. Pulse. Listen, man, I'm not. That 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 I'm sorry. I'm getting I'm getting the kids fries, bro. I'm sorry. I listen, I'll be the guy. Say what you want. I'll get the apple juice box for the kids from the kids too. I'll get that apple juice box. This, hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this is, is the same nigga that not only just got a new crib. Like I, I, ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say too much. I, I ain't gonna say too much. I'm just saying, bro, like, cause Come on, bro. Y'all know how it be when you look at them prices of these fast food joys. I'm like, nah, give me, oh, give me the aware, kids. I'm aware, brother. I'm give, aware. give me the kit. Like, and that, that juice box be like this, and you be sipping. You be, I be getting every drop. Every drop. Oh, <laughs> pause, <laughs> no, pause, 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 pause. Hold on. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Do you suck it to the box like cave in on itself? Like, I, I squeeze it. I squeeze it. You got the grippers. You got the grippers. Yeah. Yeah, right, like, I feel like BG. I feel like BG parking. <laughs> he in the parking lot eating his sh in that loud ass sound. <laughs> you, you know, when you drink a juice like that, you can't make a straight face. You always got to be like, <laughs> I've never seen nobody make a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> You saying BG can't be hard doing that? <laughs> What's the face for you, Craig? <laughs> I don't know what. Okay, man, I be acting like I'm squeezing the, the the bottom of the toothpaste out that out that juice hey, box. Hey, man. It's, mm -hmm. getting like, it's getting like that. Come out here, on, man. Shit. Tighten your belts, niggas. Sheesh. Yes, sir. Weapon meal podcast. <laughs> Gotta love it. Uh, um. That 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 McDonald's Sprite though, we gonna get off this. But that McDonald's Sprite, I ain't gonna lie. There's, there's, I'll pay any amount of money for that Sprite. That Sprite is extra potent. They, like, they, See, they, man. they fucking it up. Ooh. They fucking it up though, bro. The machines make the drinks for it, and by the time yeah. we get in my car, the water, the ice and water, yeah. the bitch down, bro. Mm. It's cause it's gas, nigga. Shit. I've had a McDonald's yeah. Sprite in a while. I stopped drinking uh nine diet oh, soda. I, I remember, drink. man. Should be, should be tasting like butane and a C four <laughs> went off. Man, put, some hair, put some hair on your chest, yes sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like so that, uh, turn you straight. You, 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 you. you nah. Whether you, you take a bump, <laughs> never that. <laughs> whether, whether you sniff a sniff a like take a bump or something, or drink a Sprite from McDonald's, the same effect, bro. That joint. That's a good shit right there, man. Yeah, not it ain't stepped on at all. That's how they keep coming back, man. That's how they keep you, bro. You, you ain't do the manscape ad. Uh, yeah, I was actually. Hold on, hold on, that. fuck off, ABG. Hold on, where that, where that chicken at, my nigga? Hold on, did we get a. I got y'all, bro. They, right, they, 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 they take a little while. You know what's crazy, Jack? I asked awesome. BG about that man's skin payment. He said, I'm paying you an exposure. I said, nigga, I'm just <laughs> nigga, I'm not kill I'm, I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm not making feel like that. I ain't, I ain't seen no benefits of telling niggas to say they balls yet. This is crazy. Okay. Hey, man. Nigga That's said, you get an exposure, bro. Put this on the fucking resume, nigga. We'll, we'll, we'll be back skin. right after these messages. Um, we appreciate all of your support. Everybody who signs up, takes advantage of these deals and the, these offers because they are valuable offers. We'll be right back. Right now you're watching Weapon World Podcast and I'm sure you're having a fantastic time because we're very entertaining people. But let's take a minute to talk about something very serious and very important. Just like the developers in the industry who have very stressful jobs and they crunch and they may need therapy after everything they go through, you're a human too, you have your own life and things stress you out. So therapy is for everyone and you should take advantage of that. Do you believe it's too late to change habits that you formed when you were young? Let me tell you, it's not. A lot of you have been watching me for over 10 years and you've seen me mature and evolve over the years. Therapy helped me to unlearn bad habits I formed as a child and learn from negative influences around me. It helped me recognize these are not good traits and it's time to change for the better. No matter what your challenge is in life, therapy can help you adapt to 
and overcome it. That's why I'm happy to announce today's sponsor is BetterHelp. BetterHelp makes therapy a lot easier and much less intimidating. With over 30,000 licensed therapists, they match you with a professional tailored to your preference and your challenges. You can have sessions over the phone, video chat, or even through messaging. Whatever works best for you. So join over 4 million people who have taken the next step towards a healthier, happier life with BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit BetterHelp.com slash BGHDR to get started. Plus, clicking that link helps support this channel and gets you 10% off the first month of BetterHelp. Take that next step towards your change. It'll be worth it. A lot of you saw me in my early days on YouTube, angry, breaking stuff, wiling out, and you've seen I changed, so you can change too. Check out BetterHelp.com. Link is in the description. Like the sheets was yellow, it was blood on the wall, and you hear screaming all night. Like, fuck, is it be a horror house, my nigga? Like, I'm not staring. There's like $20 a night. Like, yeah, bro. Oh, no. Some of those views is crazy, bro. I mean, I'm, I'm down. I got my camera now, so I'm, I'm like on some vlog type photos type shit if we got there anyway. Mm. So you guys trying to go? Um, um, later this oh, summer. Oh, I'm muted, bro. What the hell? You all right? Yeah, I didn't realize I was muted. What y'all got against therapy out there in the chat, man? Some of y'all need some therapy. Be open-minded. The the... There's so much undiagnosed fucking, like, um, bipolar disorder running around this motherfucker. BG, have you, were you not in the Discord last night? Uh, no, <laughs> not really. There was so much unhinged shit going on. Bond hopped in there and said, "All right, you fucking cocksuckers, wrap this shit up by Monday," and then left. I was like, "What the?" Even, I heard, I even heard the Bond stopping yesterday. What, what was good? I was like, "It was like, nigga, it was like twenty, twenty-five people in the voice chat listening to one nigga." Wow. Save for the after dark. Uh, Weapon will trivia. Uh, thank you, Mafia Quad, for submitting this. And Devil May Cry Three: Dante's Awakening. What is the name of the boss who wields a pair of electrified? guitars as weapons oh did uh did Hideo Kojima copy this from Devil May Cry 3 Come I, on, only play, I only played Devil May Cry 1 so I, I wouldn't know is it Virgil, Beowulf uh, Nevin Agni and or a- Agni and Rudra oh it's uh, Agni and Rudra I know Virgil so I go him that's the only character I know so I'm gonna probably say Nevin. Beowulf probably Nevin <clears throat> Answer is Nevin. Yeah. God fucking damn it, bro. Yeah. I, I do that. Sure you did, brother. Yeah. Uh, what else great we question. got? Great, uh, great question, brother. Yeah, great th- thank you. Love you, Mafia Quad. Quad. Um, for, for a game to get the, the, the PS5 Pro stamp of enhanced stamp of approval, <laughs> it has to uh, use PSSR to upscale resolution to 4K a constant 60 fps um add or increase ray tracing effects uh i don't know yeah i don't know if it if it has to uh you know meet all of these to get that label but that's that's what it says those are games that will really take advantage of it how you talking about for the you talking about for the new shit yeah, because you know, like in, in, oh, in the right. PS4, the PS4 Pro, they had like certain games labeled enhanced by the PS4 Pro. So, yeah, this is these these PS5 Pro games that actually utilize it are gonna get a label too, as long as they meet certain criteria. We don't gotta talk about that though. I'm that's fucking, that's that fucking awesome. That's fucking yeah. awesome, brother. Gotta Great be honest news. with you. Can't wait. What else we got? Oh, Tales of Kinzera uh, is coming to play the PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium tear. That's the Metroidvania, uh, African. You say game. extra and premium? Yes. You don't get it on essential? What the fuck? No, sir. What? I, I still don't Damn. know what the fuck I'm what? paying for, bro. I got Man, the highest tier. I still don't know what the Nigga, I, it got to be on see. essential, BG, because I, bro, I, I just paid $87 for essential, my nigga. Like, it's got to be on essential, too, right? Let's see. Uh, I thought uh, I thought it'd be the <laughs> monthly PlayStation <laughs> Plus, because that's what, what essential it? does for two, doesn't it? Yeah, Essential's like a normal joint with the monthly games. It's got to be on Essential. Yeah, you ain't got to, unless... Nah, uh, it's, a day, well, it's a day one release. They ain't putting it on Essential. That's, that's considered a big get. Well, I thought it would be, because they did with, like, 
other stuff they've done. Available like, PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium. Yep, I'm on the PlayStation Ooh, blog. What? It's Extra and Premium. Are you kidding me? What? I just paid $87 for Essential, my nigga. I can't get, I can't get a nigga running. I can't get a nigga running for... God damn! I paid $100. I can't get a nigga running? Damn! Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. What's Jack. up, man? You're overreacting, Jack Moon. This is crazy. What the fuck is this getting my money for, man? If it, if $87? It makes you... Wait, how often do you pay every year? Bro, I got a yearly subscription for a central with eighty seven dollars after tax, bro. If if it Damn, makes you feel bro. better, I did buy the game. I mean that doesn't get you your money back. Man, fuck that. I'm not even playing the shit now. I don't even care, yeah. nigga. Like, damn, you gotta well, make me feel good about the shit. Yeah. I, I bought because I think I think the it's game was gonna, only like twenty, so I I bought it before. It's only like it was, seventeen. Oh, that yeah. was seventeen bucks. So now I gotta put an extra seventeen on eighty seven. Why am I come on, Jazz? What are we doing, bro? Well like, that's crazy. Yeah, well I got it. So. Well, well, Jack, to be fair, a lot of the PlayStation community said they buy their games and they've looked down on games going to being on game subscriptions day one. So when it comes well, to this, everybody well, was celebrating this shit. I hope I hope they buy and play it then, man. I don't know what to tell them, though. God damn. Nope. I thought that thing was going to be on the Central, man. I said, that's a, that's a good title to put on the Central, man. Shit. But Jack, boo, why the fuck do you want handouts, Jack? I guess so, man. Forgive me. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Jesus. Well, this is, this is crazy. What so, else? BG, do you think it's? Do you think this is one of those they don't have faith in the game type of things that you would normally say when games are on like Game Pass Day One, or no? Uh, the developer. Uh, I think they know they they definitely need as much help as possible. Um, and that's why they're 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 doing this, yeah. Because it's a to any developer, uh, this is kind of like their first game, if I'm not mistaken. Right, the the black dude. I think this is his first game as a director or whatever his position is. So yeah, I think I think they need all, he knows they need all the help they can get, and if they get some if they can get some upfront money, absolutely they're gonna take it. Because yeah, I don't think they have the the biggest faith in this game, even, even though it's super cheap, it's $17 and it's a Metroidvania, it's cool, but I don't think they have that much faith in it by itself to just do what it needs to do, even though they've been doing a lot of marketing and promotion. Like, dude, the dude been going on anybody's podcast. He's like, hey, if you want to interview me, um, hit me up, and he's been going on just anybody's podcast, so he been doing a leg. Why ain't brother nigga over here? Uh, I, was, it, I, was, <laughs> I was, I was, I was gonna hit him up, but I'm like, I'm too busy. Honestly, I was like, uh, I'm a little bit too busy right now to be reaching out in people's DMs like, hey, want to cut? Eh. Too busy. Because, you know, Jack, I saw you made that tweet and <laughs> people were saying, oh, if people aren't keeping the same energy, because if this was Game Pass, people would be reacting way differently. Oh, yeah, it'd be Game Pass, Father. A term I created, by the way. But yeah, it'd be Game Pass, Father. You know how they go. Mm -hmm. Shout out to mm -hmm. them, bro. Mm hmm. Shout out to them, dog. Uh, what else do I got? Um, I think we kind of touched on this. Uh, Xbox multi-platform brand pivot is partly driven by Gen Z habits, says Phil Spencer. I think we, we kind of talked about that, right? Jack been talking about like you know how yeah, Gen Z doesn't of... care about consoles and stuff. They definitely don't. Still find it hard to believe. Um, cause so okay, you telling me. Let's say kids in middle school right now. Middle school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They not on consoles? Those they all the same they... kids watching. Hmm? Go ahead. No, I was going to say them the same kids watching Duke Dennis and Kai Sinat and Ninja and them niggas and them the same kids. All they play is Fortnite, Roblox, GTA. Them niggas on PC, man. They, they not like, oh, I got to get fucking. Even if they did want to play some shit like Spider-Man, that's on PC too. Like, why would they not get a PC? And they want to stream and be just like them dudes. I ain't saying gaming is the main reason they own PC, but over the overall allure of it, I was, I, I've said from what I've seen, I don't have no kids personally. From what I've seen, the younger generation, they enjoy tablet, mobile gaming, and gaming on PC. All that shit on top of it. On top of that, uh, a lot of those streamers, they do obscure games. That's kind of how they get their streams and shit like that. They'll play the super scary game or just, you That's know, whatever console, the fuck. Yep. It's not on console. Yep. And so yep. they want to be involved in the conversation. They want. I used to do shit like that, too. I used to Google 
uh, live streams of just crazy weird games. Um, but I kind of had to watch it. I never had a PC, so. Mm. Traditional console gaming just ain't popping no more, man. That's why I think, and partially that's probably why PlayStation, Xbox, like, fuck it. What, why are we trying to hold on to some shit that people don't even hold near and dear no more? We might as well put the games everywhere. People clearly going to fucking PC anyway. We might as well put the games on there and try to get. Maybe that's why they doing it. Who knows, bro? Who knows? But I hate to see it. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. What else do I got? Eh, nothing really interesting. Dragon's Dogma two sales two point five million in like was a little over a week or something like that. Um. That's what's up. Cool. I guess. I don't think I'm a I'm a I'm gonna buy Dragon's Dogma eventually, like m- later this year. But I'm I, I kind of feel like I'm not gonna like it. I kind of like feel that way. Why are you buying it then? Don't buy it. I want to I want to try it out. They didn't have a demo, you right? Do the two do the two hour uh, Steam shit. Yeah. Why you do that? Yeah, yeah, he's trying I, to refund it. Yeah, it just doesn't seem like it's gonna be my type. I look at this game and it's like it, it's one of those games that gets a lot of hype for all of the things I hate in video games. All the stuff I hate doing, it's like, oh, it's popular because of that. Like, uh, yeah, y'all, y'all could probably have that. I'll, I'll try it out, though. Yeah. Um, there was, what was the situation with this game, Araban? They announced that Araban Shadow Legacy, you, y'all probably don't even remember what the hell this game is. I think they showed it at the X, one, of the, one of the Xbox showcases. Um, Araban Shadow Legacy uh, on Xbox and Game Pass had to be the day one. Day one on Xbox Game Pass has been canceled. Um, so Whoa. it's not going to it's not going to Xbox um, when it releases, and obviously not Game Pass. It's still going to PC and PlayStation, or it might be just PC. Actually, it might not even be going to PlayStation. But some people were. I don't think nobody was actually mad about that. It was just like, oh, another game that's that was supposed to go to Xbox, that's not. Because I think there was another game besides this one also that kind of retracted, hey, we're not going to Xbox anymore, um, or something like that. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't really care. I don't, I, I don't understand the, uh, the state of, like, gaming and, like, uh, detracting which platforms you're going for. It's like, I thought all publishers and developers wanted to do was go to most customers as possible, and that's being like everywhere. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what they, what they want. I really don't know what they want. So I don't understand the logic behind it, and it's, it's weird. It's just very weird, and I feel like this, this copycat effects. Like usually, there's one, and then somebody comes in right after, like, yes, yeah, sir, I apologize, He's not going to get past. But I think that a rabble one, one of them lost his publisher, and Microsoft gets these Game Pass deals through publishers. So once the publisher parted ways with the developer, uh, they couldn't because that deal was made with the publisher. They lost the publisher, so they lost the ability uh, to do that or the funding, whatever. So when the publisher deal died down, then they, whatever deal that publisher had for that game for Game Pass was done. Yeah. And it's like, so do you know what another game, there was another game that, uh, that was at the Xbox Showcase. And uh, it was a it was a female protagonist, and she had like she was holding um, two weapons in her hands, and I was like, this game actually looks really good. And then I saw a extended gameplay. It might have been IGN, um, and I was like, this game looks jank. It's like a double A game. Can't remember the name of it, but a lot of double. Are you talking about Flintlock? Yup, Flintlock. That's what it is. Okay. I was like, this looks. The first video when it was revealed, I was like, this looks really good. Um, but then I saw more gameplay. I was like, yeah, this looks like a, a skip for me. Um, because a lot of the problem is a lot of these double A games are trying way too hard to be triple A games and it ruins the game for me. Like, cause it, it's like, they're trying to do double A things, but oh my God. You see the, you see the snake air, right? <laughs> <laughs> Big tall Frankenstein lurch looking <laughs> motherfucker with a bell. Are you all crazy? Why are you looking like that? Bond is nuts. That's the funniest shit. Bond is nuts. 
<laughs> shout, out, shout out Bond at WrestleMania. I got I to gotta retweet this, man. That picture funny. Yeah, it's just a lot of these double A games just be like trying too hard to like reach the level um, and the execution of of triple A and it fails badly. Like I, I feel like I wish some of y'all would just stop being so ambitious and really truly stay as just a double A game. Stay in those parameters and just do the best you can because a, a lot of these ga- these double A games just feel like really bad triple A games. So yeah. Uh aside from that, I don't think I got no other topics, bro. I think that was it. The last two weeks been kind of uh... Am I missing something? Well, since you're about to go in like the, to the PlayStation news or whatever, I, I think you are. Where are you? But before that, I'm just going to say that the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, they're going to stop online functionality tomorrow. So pretty oh. much you will not be able to buy the DLC for Wii U and 3DS games anymore, and you won't be able to go online. Because the only ones that really would affect that actively go online is like Monster Hunter games. And Platoon One and like stuff like Pokemon games, but that's about it. My condolences. So, yeah. Yeah. Last two weeks were dry. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell y'all. Uh, we could do a trophy check. Let me see if I could switch this screen without fucking everything up. Just spit on it, Nick. Huh? Who y'all did last week? Tyrek. I mean, uh, two weeks ago, y'all did Tyrek. Yeah. Yeah, it was Tarek. yeah, we did Tarek two weeks ago. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Hey, do E Rock since you and him beefing in the chat. I, I have no beef with nobody. Um, let's see. Where the fuck is the intro? There we go. Do that <laughs> intro over again. Ever since BG fixed his credit, I don't like the way this nigga be acting, bro. All right. I do not like that. Let's see. Okay, I'm looking at Starsky Silvers, our guy Starsky. Okay, uh, let's, Jack, you're the professional here. Hello. Yeah, I gotta pull the, it up. Hold on. Yeah, pull it up. You're the professional uh, trophy hunter here. Uh, right off the bat, I'm giving him a lot of credit because he has the Overcooked 2 Platinum. Let me tell you, right, as someone who's a hardcore gamer and I play like all the all the big boy, bad boy shit. Yeah, I'm a real gamer. Overcooked. That's a game I cannot play, bro. Like I I I curl into a a, a fetal position. When my wife asked me to play Overcook, I'm like, yo, I can't handle the pressure. You want to talk about the lights is too bright when you got to put this, you got to put this ingredient in the pot and then you got to make sure the pot don't, don't burn. And then you got to uh, wash the dishes and you got, bro, I'd be completely overwhelmed playing this game. Actually, that would be a fun stream game. Uh, under Overcook too. I'd be crying. Support. I'd be crying. I'd, I'd, it's, I, if, I feel like Jordan, Gordon Ramsay is yelling at me and I'm just, I, I curl up, bro. I fold. I'm, I'm, I can't As handle it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to download this shit. That game is fun. I forgot all about it. I can't handle it. So, I, that's, that's, I, I give you. Does he have the platinum or he's 55% of the platinum? Uh, no, he has the platinum. It, 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 he has the platinum. It's probably like an expansion or something. Let me, see, let me see. Okay. Yeah, there's expansions. So, that's why it's, it says 50. Uh, okay. No God of War Ragnarok platinum. Okay, got the Spider-Man 2. Resident Evil 4 looking kind of low. I need you to respect that game. Riding Forbidden West. Okay. Okay. Dead Space 1%. That's disgusting. What's wrong with you? Uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, oh, I ended up beating that PC. That's, that's why I'm only on, on that 12%. Okay. Um, A Plague's Tale Innocence. Okay. Platinum for that. Anything standing out to y'all? Uh, you look like you didn't like you doing a good job to me, brother. I don't why you don't? Why, you. why? Why? Why you can't uh, platinum no God of War games though? Looking looking weird there. And you saying that's a skill issue? Or what, what are we saying with that? Nah, I don't know. It is, might might be that. Got Ratchet and Clank. Okay. I'm looking for something shameful. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to, yeah, I need look, some more jumping tacos. Playing yeah. kind of he, he, he looking kind of he looking kind of clean right now. I don't know. I'm looking for the dirt. He probably hiding it. Oh, you got Jack. You remember me and you played this game, Strange Brigade? Trash. Oh my bro, that game is ass, bro. Yeah. We beat yeah. that whole joint too. That game is ass. Though. I'm kind of mad you got the platinum for this. That's kind of shameful. Hellblade. Okay. 
I'm looking for the bullshit. Come on. Give me something embarrassing. Damn, okay, you got Titanfall 2. Okay. I meant to get that platinum. I ain't get it yet. Gravity so like a real Rush, gamer, Rocket you with your BG. I don't know, man. Yeah, he might be more of a gamer than Tarek or Wonton. Wow. Hold on, hold on. Did, he, did he volunteer that you check his trophies? Yeah. Nah, nah. If we're going to do this, we need to pick a nigga and bully him. Because that means that he know he on his shit. We got to pick somebody. I mean, Tarek and Wonton kind of volunteer yeah. too. And... I say we start picking niggas. It's like, pick, pluck that nigga out and be like, let's see what you be talking about. Hold on, hold on. Zero time dilemma? I don't know. It sounds like some bullshit. What is this? Wait. Oh, some more recent too. Wait. What? Zero. What? What's zero time dilemma? Somebody look that up. I feel like that's it's probably, that's like a visual that's novel. Like a, yeah, yeah, dude. That's a visual novel type of oh, game. Oh, it's a that's Vita game. Is. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Oh, so I mean, yeah, it's bullshit. If it's a Vita game, it's bullshit. Uh. Damn, I'm not really seeing. Guns, Gore, and Cannoli. Blaze is that Blaze? Blaze's game? Yeah, that's a decent game. That's a decent smooth. Game. I'm gonna need you to. Rent. I don't know. No, if you no, can say no. That. I'm just saying it's not. I don't think people would consider that a BS game. Mm. Actually, I think they came out with a sequel too. Okay. Uh, damn, man. Man, I might have to give up, man. It don't don't look like it's no real bullshit here like that. I, I regret to inform everybody. Uh, this this look like we have an actual gamer on our hands, unfortunately. Boo! Yeah, the lame man enjoys the medium. Boo! La lame ass yeah, nigga crazy. playing video games. Corny ass nigga, man. Yeah, we, 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 ain't we ain't jacking that, bro. Nah, nah it's, it's not what we wanted, brother. And even Untitled Goose Game is kind of respectable, you know. Like that shit won Game of the Year, one of them awards, bro. Yeah, so. Oh, knockout hey. city at dead ass game. Hey, <laughs> hold on. Now, 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 I, now, that's I, shameful. That's I, I suddenly. I will dance at your wedding. What's Operation Tango? Oh, I played oh, yeah. that dumb shit. No, oh, no. Next topic. Uh, damn, this nigga's a. This nigga really be playing games. Weird ass nigga. Go outside. Touch grass. What? Wait, wait, wait. What's what am? What am? What? Looks, looks like some shovelware bull. You saying what well, am? Like them niggas in Louisiana? What am? I don't know what that is. Yeah. Let me go to the stream so I can see what this Hold game looks like. What am? Let me look this up real quick. What am? What am you talking about, nigga? Uh, let me see here. Oh, oh that's uh, Wadham. Yeah. I know what that is. That's Wadham. Oh, that's what that's I said. Game PlayStation, mm. That's the game PlayStation was uh, promoting at one time. I ain't never played it. it, it it's just kind of some bullshit. You can you could beat the game in like two and a half hours. Oh, okay. you go playing some bullshit, uh, Silver. Is that Silver? Yeah, bro. Yeah, but uh, nah, he's he's. This is legit. Like I'm. This is legit. I'm 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 diving at this point. I'm di I'm deep sea diving. I can't find anything. Well, this nigga Smooth got another plate. Hey, no, Smooth. Hey, that shit must be hidden, bro. All right, Silver. No, You're it's clean. Hitting. It's hidden. It's hidden. <clears throat> I see. Uh, God damn, she passed the little taste test, huh? You you clean. Oh, by, the way, by the way, uh Gigantic uh re resurrects uh this week. Um they reviving that game. Re oh, re that Xbox game? game? The, 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 uh, the, shit, not yeah. MOBA. It wasn't a MOBA. It was a uh, It is a MOBA, isn't it? it is? I I, uh, I thought it was. I, I don't know. I think they were they were like um sort of it was like a MOBA hybrid baby. It's the RTS um, uh, yeah type thing, yeah. Hmm. I remember when they shut it down. I remember that announcement. Yeah. Heartbreaker, yeah. but it's a good game. Hopefully, I I have rights to the new one because I I had the original, but I think was it did I had to buy it or was it free to play? Hmm. I don't. I know I had full rights to it, but we'll see. Um, Hell Divers Two. Uh, they increased the level cap. There's new hazards, new balances, all that good stuff. Embracer Embracer sold Gearbox, um, and. <laughs> To take two, take two bought it for 460 million, got it for the low, low. Happy for uh, Gearbox and Borderlands to be owned by Take Two since that was their publisher all this damn time, anyway. So happy about that. Look forward to Gear to uh, to Borderlands 4. No, I don't. Facts. Y'all are haters. Are you going to play that with me and Chop? What? Uh, I'm, BG? I'm playing with myself. Pause. Pause. By, my, by, my, by myself. By myself. You, you looking forward to it that much, my nigga? Damn. 
Hey, I'm sponsored playing. by Manscaped, nigga. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> BG, I'm going to play with my dick, nigga. I got to play that game. You are a sick puppy, brother. I'm playing Jesus. by myself is what I meant, man. <laughs> you, better, you better be playing with your dial sense. What did Kid Smooth call it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat pen, baby. Whooping y'all ass, boy. <laughs> oh man, um, yo, I ain't got nothing else, man. This, you know, it's okay to end the podcast. Yeah, don't, don't, don't overextend okay. yourself. Yeah. You know, your head get hot when you think too much. Oh, uh, you so... want to talk about PlayStation? <laughs> what, what happened with PlayStation? Yeah. What am I missing? Yeah, come on, come on. Jerry. You got PS5 Pro in the title. Yeah, we mentioned PS5. We, talk, we talked about we talked about it. Man. Where were you? Okay. Oh, that, BG that, could do that to get views. Now. You know, BG do that to get views. He don't really have to talk about it. Oh, yeah. You know, SEO. Yo, Thickums, Thickums in the chat. You you right. Smooth definitely been eating this whole podcast now. The bond out here. It's a safe yeah, space he, for Smooth. Yeah, now. Right? Mm. BG been slandering Xbox since bond here, but Smooth been eating. Smooth, I, I saw Smooth eating his finger for a little bit till he realized it wasn't chicken. I was like, this nigga going crazy. Look <laughs> at him. Yeah. yeah dude. I don't know what sauce she put on there, nigga. She got you going insane right now. Yeah, damn. I see the steam coming off that bitch. Go ahead, slip that up. All right, All right. let me re- read some more uh, super chats. Um, LMC Figs, Smooth is right on this. Xbox finally has the talent in games, and instead of competing, the first thing they do is start making multiplat. Shaking my head. Very true. The Brandalorian. Blaze 4K and is Blaze 4K and Sony employee Dark Cloud the same person? They sound similar. <laughs> they sound similar, and I've never seen them together. Hmm. He they, might be on to something. Nah, he might they, be on new, you need to uh, invest in a new speaker system, brother. I don't think they that. they do both wear seashell necklaces, so he might be on to something. That's true. Mm-hmm. Uh, last, what if PlayStation made AA games? Like Miles. Uh, Miles they Morales? It. They made Miles, so. You mean no, like, on a normal like basis is what he means? Oh, yeah, down, made, yeah, uh, made yeah, sure, it. Why, 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 why not? Yeah, isn't like, that what, isn't that what uh, Venom's going to be? Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. So, p- listen. PlayStation need to find a way out of that, that Insomniac Marvel deal. <laughs> like, bro. bro. They need to and find Venom a way is out of play that. Just- I enjoy playing as Venom and Spider Man Two spoiler, but like, bro, can we? Uh, it, it's it's getting to be the same, bro. Like, they need you don't play as Wolverine. Deal. Wolverine gonna play like Spider Man. Like, we haven't <laughs> seen the gameplay. Fire, fire. But then it's a Spider Man with claws, my nigga. Like, god damn. Ruffle Mutt. For the time being, the automatons have been eradicated. A victory for democracy. For real though, I truly dig how the lore is slowly uh, being developed based on the game's actions. Yeah, that's really working out for old divers too. So, um, he also said the subtle hints of a deeper threat, like how gamers pointed out a myst- pointed out mysterious ships phasing in the sky from a distance. I want to know where this story goes. I think Super Earth will be the true enemy. Jack, you said uh, the the enemies from the first game is probably what's showing up next. Uh, what did you call them? Oh, what the fuck are they named? Uh, I forgot. But yeah, is they, it the Illuminati a, like or something? A, oh yeah, the Illuma Illuminates or some shit like that. Oh, okay. But they they it's pretty much a mixture of both. It like it, they're bugs, but they're robotic bugs. So it's like a combination yeah. of. Yeah. Okay. They are hard to fight too, man. Because they can make like shields. They can shield you off from shit. Is they hard to fight, bro? They annoying yeah. to fight. The Brandalorian Gaming Pet P Volume Three. When it takes fucking forever to get up, to get up when knocked down, especially when fighting aggressive enemies. Yeah, that'd be pissing me. Especially when they can hit you while you're on the ground. Oh yeah. <laughs> Somebody mm-hmm. playing Stellar Blade. We see you, bro. It's annoying. Uh, Brian Lobo, remember what what Blaze said? If SOCOM Five got announced, I would shoot myself in the head, bro. <laughs> <laughs> then how you get to play it? He probably did some freaky ass shit. Crazy. Mike one. Remember when someone taunted on BG and Uncharted and he wished cancer on them? I don't see an issue. I'm not gonna acknowledge I actually did that. That was uh that was me in a former life. That was uh very much a different BG at that time. Interesting. Yeah, I'll probably still get triggered if somebody danced on my body in 2024, though. But I probably wouldn't wish cancer on you. I, you know, why not? 
Uh, it's a little bit too egregious, you know. You gotta. You think so? I think so. It's it's a little bit. You know, you gotta mature, bro. I can't be doing the same thing I was in in college in the college dorm room in my first apartment. You know, you gotta mature and insult people. Gotta insult people other ways. No more. That's the sad part. Gotta insult people need, other ways. Uh, he need to, cause them waves ain't doing shit. Nigga. I beat you. Mm. Jack, Jack, I have. Update, update, I, I am way too busy in life to worry about. To brush your goddamn hair, nigga. Hair, that, okay. That's not what I said. Wa- niggas, waves. I'm way too busy hey, to brush my hair. Hey, Jack, hey, first, first is brushing the hair, then it's going to be washing his ass. He's just too busy. You know who else said that? Kevin Durant said that. He might have been right, but guess what? <laughs> Man, he got beady beads and he bald and nigga, you better brush your fucking hair, nigga. I brush my hair. I just, I can't do Not the good. maintenance. No, you don't do it well. You don't do I it well. Can, no, I can't. Jack, you know waves takes way mu- much more than just casually brushing your hair. That, that's true. That is true. So that I can't true. do that no more. Walk around with a brush, make sure I brush every six hours of the day to maintain. I can't hey, do that no you, more. You, you sure work you remote. Your, make sure you're getting your eight angles. Get your eight angles. Come on, like bro. Got time for get, that. Your, get your eight angles. Come on, brother. Nobody got time for that no more. Right. Back 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 when life was, you know, simpler. Oh yeah. I would I would have been killing you, Jack. I would have killed that's you. Cap. That's cap. That's cap, BG. Okay. Come on. That's cap, brother. I don't even brush my hair no more. Well, once you get the pattern there, you kind of set you do a little maintenance. You're not, you're not too mm. true. Uh, LMC Figs, can you confirm the rumors about about Kid Smooth? Is he on Jiggy Tape Part Two? I don't know nothing about that, man. I guess you gotta wait and see, brother. <laughs> How you know about Jiggy Tape Part Two? Is that even a real thing? Is it is it coming out? I bro, the know. street the street's been talking, bro. How they been talking? That's great. Hey, Smooth, what you know about that? I don't. I'm waiting for it, just like y'all. <laughs> and we gonna see, bro. We gonna, I, we gonna see. I won't say too much, but there's a nigga on this podcast right now. We waiting on the verse from. <laughs> hey, you, you you thought Kendrick this was something crazy? Wait for this doozy. He, he putting what, what, he putting the YouTube talk- streets on the ice pack. <laughs> what you talking about? Oh, I ain't gonna say man. too much. Hey. Uh, John Donuts. Young teens want PS fives. It's a part of pop culture. Kai shut down New York for a PS five giveaway. Teens got a PC and PS5. Um, that's at least how teens are in the UK. Oh, them young, them young teens in New York is dirty bums. Like them niggas, yeah. them niggas called to ride for a fucking four hundred dollar console. Like they ain't had nothing else to do. That's all that. Was. Wait, that that was John Donuts. Shout out to my yeah, fellow yeah. movie guy. Yeah, I think that whole thing in New York would have happened anyway, but just because he has so much followers, even if he wasn't giving away nothing. Yeah. Um. Probably. GT Bato. Young people don't don't care about uh console 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 gaming anymore. It's mainly to a funnel to PC gaming. Also, the Kai PS5 wasn't for the PS5. People went for Kai. Yeah, which is what I just said. Yep, that's true. Um, hey man, wish there was more topics and more interesting topics, but uh, I don't I create don't. the news. We just talk about it. So don't don't be mad at us. But uh. It's time for us to get out of here, do these outros, and go to After Dark. And I'm starving. Seeing food, smooth. Eat for two hours. Jack? Have you, is- a, have you ever seen a nigga deep throw a chicken wing before? That was kind of impressive. Um, and the room, and it's room temp, because he didn't even do that. Because <laughs> it was hot. Like, that's some room temp chicken. You swallowed that motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> hey, man. Good podcast, y'all. Hope to see y'all again sometime soon. Uh, I ain't got too much. J- JiggyMerch.com. Tap in, man. Jiggy Tape 2, possibly. I don't know, man. Snake skin on me. You know it's Komoda. You know what I mean? You know, you know. You know, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. All right? We out. Uh, Alex. You fucking with that, Alex? You with that? Yeah, fuck. Because um, I know y'all niggas hate when I rap. <laughs> Hey, hey, uh, this is all natural strawberry lemonade. Um, oh, subscribe to Wonton Soup 2. Uh, movie guys every Friday, even if it's not talking about movies, my boy Wonton still gonna try to have a soup of the day. So, y'all make sure y'all tune in and uh, we don't, we don't get better with that scheduling, dog. All right, Jazzy, deuces, smooth. All right, man, have a blessed day. And uh, uh, wear some glasses tomorrow if you're looking for the solar eclipse or something like that. So. Oh, is it tomorrow? It's tomorrow. Yeah. Oh yeah. I gotta do that. It's gonna be um. 
My city's seeing 100% of it too, nigga. We about to be going crazy. Your city. There's people think traveling we, to see that shit too. Nigga, yeah. It's like, they projected 100,000 people are going to be in my city, like, plus. Yeah, be careful, because they, 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 they plotting. It's a wicked ass yeah. people in this world. Earthquakes so. and then solar oh, eclipse. Oh, you think I don't they like might it. do like they might try to do some crazy? Oh, they might. Y'all yeah, think we will get superpowers? Weren't we supposed? To, weren't black people supposed to get superpowers like a couple years ago? Oh my! Because God. of an eclipse, we we did get superpowers. Inclusion. Yeah. yeah we, 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 we get superpowers. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna, we got I ain't we got gonna, visibility. I ain't gonna lie, man. Yo, there was one copy I see. It was probably a, a, a racist comment, but it was funny as hell. Right before before we get after dark, I think it was like. Where like the the riots and stuff was going on, and people were looting and stuff like that. Some dude was like, <laughs> "This guy, this guy said, and, he, and these folks believe they built pyramids." <laughs> <laughs> That's very racist. That's fucked up. Are you fucking with this fool? <laughs> <laughs> that was in the, that had you chuckled, huh? That's a real oh. knee slap right there. No, yeah, exactly. I'm about to look, oh man. Oh, now smooth, smooth probably, smooth probably liked that shit too. and kept scrolling. You the one that's saying it. You know when niggas be like, you know when niggas call to something like niggas say and they be them, they be niggas. Smooth was saying shit. Smooth, smooth saw that and said, "We were all thinking it, nigga." Hell no. So that it cried, yo. I was like, yo. Too long ago. Not too long before I saw that that tweet, I saw you know you stumble across a YouTube video and he's talking. And they say like you know you know we were the we did that like you know to I be mean? find your inner roots and shit like that. Oh my god, I was crying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, you know, smooth kept kept that one for for the party joke too. He put yes, that one in his sir. back pocket. Oh, well, bitch, what you over there eating that spaghetti? What the this fish? What you eat over there, brother? Uh. You know they don't believe in yeah, fish yeah. and spaghetti, Jay. That's a southern thing. That's spaghetti or what? Let me see. Hold huh? it up for me, brother. Wait, wait, wait. My wife said it's called millionaire spaghetti. So what the fuck you eating? It? Hold on. Oh, you're right. So you yeah, got a new man. house and now niggas on some millionaire spaghetti. No, this no, nigga, no, I'm saying that we ain't got the nah, Patreon yeah. money. Yeah. That's why I'm Patreon money went. This nigga eating why, millionaire why spaghetti. Why millionaire spaghetti? Is that what they what just call it? Tell your wife, okay. tell your wife, I mean, Whoa. broke nigga SpaghettiOs tonight. Hold so up. It's, there's a discrepancy going on with this podcast. Jack, that's correct. He got a Manscaped deal, and now he got a new house. I, I know you see this. Alex, I mean, Chef Boy they, RD for dinner, claiming, my nigga. They claiming I got money. because it's a I, got, I mean, Chef Boy RD house, for dinner, my nigga. He eat millionaire spaghetti. This is hey, what I got to deal with. What's up, bro? You know what? The day that you get an illuminated um, logo of you next to your head or whatever, that's how I know that you made it too, bro. bro like, if you really start to look at what's in his background, bro. You know what's crazy, just, right? Mm. It's the same nigga that say he got to eat small fries. He got to eat fries meant for homeless people. But he hey, millionaire hey, fucking spaghetti. Hey, this is this hey, shit Jay, I'm talking about. I wasn't going to say too much. Remember when he picked you up in New York? You remember the vehicle he picked you up in? Nigga eating small fries, small fries in that car. Like, what? What are we I'm doing? I'm not gonna bro? say I ain't gonna even put all your bins out there, BG. Right, right. <laughs> and you know what? Me and that spaghetti, you deserve it. <laughs> Jack, here, Jack, would you like to? Would you like to show the people your weapon wheel W twos at the end of the year, like the full amount that you made? I didn't go. Year? I didn't go to the. I didn't go. I didn't go to the war. Mmm. What's you talking about? You don't want to show hey, them how much you made? That was a good pivot. What you mean? What you mean? How much I made? From weapon wheel each year, you know when I send you the total amount from. No, what would we do? I'm saying, BG, that, you, you, I'm not. That, a but that's, but he's just not, working. I'm not, I'm not yeah, yeah, I'm not. He's just working. I'm not but a now. What you talking about? You making it seem like I just, I just got it like that. That, that I that, don't. I, I ain't need no fucking millionaire I'm, spaghetti, my nigga. Like, can you send me some? Hold on, it's, hold on, it's, BG, and you got a four foot air fryer behind you. What the fuck, nigga? Exactly. You really got like, money? What you putting in that? Why You see that motherfucker? Like, what you putting in that bit? Like, come on, bro. You putting. <laughs> 12 inch subway sandwich in that bitch. Why the air fryer so fucking chicken. He got a rotisserie chicken in there. You see, he's sweating. He got a rotisserie chicken in that bitch right now. It's just called <laughs> millionaire <laughs> spaghetti. It's not it's it's super got, expensive. He got Benji tied up in that bitch cooking. <laughs> <laughs> you know that nigga legs taste like chicken. They tender as hell. They ain't moved in fucking 15 years. <laughs> hey, man, get out of here. He said, season just for you, brother. That's your fault. <laughs> you eat my legs, bro, you fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and my wife are able Say to do this. Say something for me, you fucking bitch. <laughs> they laughing too much. Um, listen, I, we, I don't got it. 
<laughs> I'm telling you right now, I don't got it. Yeah, you lying. I, 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 listen, I be seeing how much <laughs> I be sending y'all each Patreon, and y'all about to get this, you know, this uh, this ad money too. Like, bro, oh, I'm oh. jealous. I'm jealous of y'all. I ain't, I, I ain't I'm getting jealous. this. I'm jealous of you. I want to be I'm, like you. Big I'm not I'm getting like none of this bro. money. Um, imagine crazy, what yeah. imagine what I'm going through, right? Monthly, I get all this money just hit my 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 bank account Fire. one time. I look at Fire. it, especially you know when you wake up in the morning and like you still groggy, you don't know oh, what's going. What deposit hit? Yeah, yeah, man. like you don't you don't fully know what's going on. You just look in your account like, oh look at all that money. Oh, that's not mine. I go through that every month. Oh, that's not mine. I gotta, I gotta give all that away. Mm. Hey. Hey man, you still some off top of a bond cut BG. I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say too much, bro. I ain't gonna even lie to you, bro. Yeah, you know I mean. Is Hi Fi yeah. Rush worth $30? I'm thinking about buying it. Sure. Yeah, it's, I'll know. say it's worth 30. It's worth 30. It's cool. All right. Let's get out of here. We're going after dark. We'll catch y'all next week. We BG love y'all. Open the floodgates of hell. We we love all of y'all, man. <laughs> Matter of fact, uh, just because you know Manscape is, is such a great product, I'm I'm gonna hit y'all with one more ad before we go. Shout yes, out to Manscape. I thought you go. I thought you go use it live on there. Shout, shout out to Manscape. We out of here. This episode of Weapon Wheel Podcast is brought to you by the spring cleaning champions, Manscaped. This season, make sure to groom your carpets and the drapes with the leaders in below the waist grooming. Clear out that winter bush you got with Manscape Lawnmower 5.0 and watch your confidence skyrocket and bloom like the springtime flowers. Embrace the season and join the 10 million men and a lot of women worldwide who trust Manscaped. After using Manscaped, I can finally say I have caught spring fever. Introducing the season's champ. The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. Their fifth generation trimmer features two interchangeable next gen skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little off the top, and a new foil blade to go smoother wherever your heart desires or your body desires. It also features dual LED spotlights to guide you through the darkest winter debris. Navigate with confidence in your delicate areas. Hate making a mess? Don't worry about that. This bad boy is waterproof. Shave in the shower, in the bath, or in the middle of the ocean, wherever you want. I love this thing because it comes in a compact case. I take it with me wherever I go. Spring cleaning doesn't just mean in the nether regions. Get the full grooming experience with Manscaped Signature Beard Hedger Pro Kit and the Handyman Electric Face Shaver. Wherever you're looking to craft your signature look or clean up that neckline with all those neck beards, these are always the right tools for the job. Get 20% off and free shipping with code BGHDR at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code BGHDR at manscaped.com. Nothing like a little spring cleaning in your pants. Please use the link in the description for further information. Right. Right. <laughs> plenty of tried and plenty of fell. You could run and hide, but you can't dodge what's in my weapon. Well, name another pot that's big or small. I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section. I'm king of the hell. Name another squad that wanna test it. I'm beating them still. No, you can't dodge what's in my weapon. Well, name another pot that's big or small. I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section. I'm king of the hell. Right. I know my bro can't got me. See, that's a black bond that can't be broken. Nah. No Idris Alba, I'm a black bond. Damon, a scoping. All black panel. You can never try playing us token. Yeah, we playing games, but now one of us playing a joking. Not at real. all. <laughs> oh, wait. Then Jack Move came in with the trophies. Damn. God in the lane of his own. Like, how can you gamers approach me? How? Tell kids, move the body. You went halo. Then sing your family an angel emoji. Damn. Oh, fool. Should've known, dog. you ain't got enough series Best X's Blind got all the answers, no, you ain't gotta ask Siri questions not. All the latest gaming news gotta be here to check it yeah. Since 2015 and beyond, I'm just here to respect it Woo. 
When you at the top of your tier, it's a blessing. From the bottom, so no way we appear to be desperate. This for anybody doubting, I'm clearing a message. And if you ever had a problem, plenty I'm here to correct like plenty of fell. You could run and hide, but you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Name another squad that wanna test it, I'm beating them still. No, you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hill. Right. I know what it is, man. Weapon World Podcast, y'all know what we got in the building, man. We got BG. We got Cash Move, we got Jack Move, we got Black Bond, I mean. Blandrew, I mean, what you. You can't all strafe us, bro. Like, the strafe too strong.